Welcome okay. back, everybody, to Goblet Some More Lots. Order the Goblet. I have adjusted my mic settings, so if I am still low, let me know. Uh, I might go low for, depending on what voices I do. But uh, welcome in. If you're just watching us on, on YouTube, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below what your favorite part of this episode will be. And uh, if you want to catch us live, come over on to Twitch where we are live right now watching us if you're not if you're on youtube you're watching the past tense i'm sorry but there's rewards exclamation point rewards i have them pinned in the chat that you can uh use so uh with that being said uh as you can see our lovely bird is mia we have not heard from the person who plays um gene uh, Jean? is it john Jean -Pierre. Jean pierre Jean Pierre. Yeah. We have yeah. not heard from the player yeah. for that plays Jean Pierre in like a few weeks now. We're actually kind of worried. So if anybody knows this person, is goes in famous games on Twitch. So if y'all reach out and know who he is, please uh reach out for us because we're kind of worried. Uh so right now, uh well, I'll write him out a story until information comes in. So that's why he has MIA. I might have to adjust overlays. Uh the person who plays glitch is going to be here. He's just running late. And I think that's about it for oh, uh, Dragon Lance would be returning Friday with a couple new players, changing cast lineup for that one. Uh, Black Order is still um, in a hiatus right now, which we're still trying to figure out a schedule that works for everybody. But it does does not look like it's going to line up, so I might have to do some something on that front uh i do have a couple streamers in the game i have uh tagged them in the title so let's first turn over to jr well given that i just stuffed my mouth with some rice um maybe i should be what's that stream where like you like people pay to watch the, you the slurpy asmr food? Oh my god. <laughs> Slurpy ASMR. No, isn't it like a Japanese thing? There's like a Japanese word. Oh, mukbang? What is it? Mukbang? Yeah, sure. I cannot pronounce I that. Guess me but I want to do that. That's my new life aspiration. I'm 100% into it. Uh, but until I get good at that, I have been doing a stream on Tuesdays over at JR the Nerd. Uh, we do Maiden Mayhem. It's uh, all girl except for me stream. Uh, they are trying to escape a desert island. Uh, then uh, eventually, probably, who knows, kicking off anywhere from October to December to 20 fucking 25. Sorry for the cussing. <laughs> I will be starting to move Annihilation. So that's like... 80% ready to go. I'm almost ready to go. And then in a couple of weeks, I'm going to interview a friend of mine, T.E. Bakutis, about his science fiction novel, uh, Minds Burn, which uh, which is a really cool premise. So please come and check me out. JR the Nerd, say hello. And uh, I totally forgot. Uh, we do not have Roar Tender that plays Kalis. He is sick today, so he will be taking care of uh jean pierre today in the infirmary all right uh we do have also silver wolf number eight uh I... actually not much is going on i'm going to be slowing down on streams right now since uh i have to deal with the kids schedule but i'll be on on fridays about between five and seven not sure when that will start things have been a little hectic but uh, besides that, you'll see me here every Sunday with uh, Jugan and the game for Goblets. Sweet. With that being said, uh, yeah, I think we've hit all the wickets. Uh, if you have exclamation point merch, if you like some merch, join our Discord. I still am not putting up a re uh, giveaway this month. I guess I'll just skip this month because it's already like the 11th and I keep forgetting about it. Um, we did have a winner for the coffee cup that was sent off. Um... That's Discord. That's merch. I think that's everything. So, uh, grab your goblet, sit back, relax, and enjoy the episode. Oh, wait. Wait. Somebody did redeem the side quest bit bad on Friday, which is Safoon. So, uh, Safoon's character will be uh, coming in the story at some point. So, uh -huh. thank you guys. Uh, well, enjoy the intro. Uh, I think uh, Nico has recap tonight. So, 
So grab your goblet, sit back, and relax. What's the Welcome temperature like in back? Nico, would you like to lead us to the night's recap? Yeah. So um hey Boltia. This is like my I think third time praying to you in less than twenty-four hours since I joined this new group, because they are something. Um don't tell Jeff. He'll he'll think he had something to do with me being devoted or something and then that's just gonna be annoying but anyways um and since the last like i don't know like since two hours ago um maybe a bit more than that uh anyways we finished fighting a bunch of people and uh we found some daggers and one person was like let's keep the daggers and the other person was like no let's not keep the daggers and I'll be honest, I kind of stopped paying attention. I think we kept them in the bag. I'm pretty sure we kept them in the bag. They just didn't want me to draw them. That's fine. This group is is a lot. Um, we also... We were talking to... Verana, who looks like their friend who got eaten by cards. But they're the magic cards that I was kind of excited about, but apparently I can't take them home anymore because they're destroyed but i don't think they would have let me anyways so sure no harm no foul um but yes yeah, so we have verana who's who's in our group um providence doesn't like her i think she needs to work on her hospitality our own has tried to talk to her at some point it was fine um we'll figure that out uh but uh yeah so we we can't get the cards anymore, but now there's a dagger that ate their friend who looks like Verana or something. It's really confusing. I'm sure if I hang out with these guys a bit longer, things will either get more confusing or will start to make sense. Yeah, I don't know. Um, we also found a recipe on the main guy who attacked us, uh, who sent me to space or something for a little while, but I came back. Um, and it was a recipe saying something about them needing a Tome of Shadows, a Soul Omelette, a Shadow Orb, and a Cursed Cleaner. Um, I don't know, and then it was signed, like, Sincerest Love, Seeker of Souls, I don't know. Sounds sappy. We'll figure it out. I think they said that... The note said anyone who brings them these things will get rewarded with a lot of power. The rest of the group doesn't seem interested in that. I'm just kind of keeping it in here because we 
have the Tome of Shadows with Verana. Um, yeah. Anyways, we, we've decided we couldn't stay at the, the tavern anymore because people were attacking us and it's hard to sleep when that happens. So we left and just, and went into town. Uh, most of us just slept on the way there. And, uh, that said, Arwenis did wake me up. She didn't actually need anything, so I guess she just wanted my attention for a minute, which is fine. I don't mind that at all. Uh, and we then we got to town a bit later. So again, and maybe it's been more than two hours since I've prayed last. But uh, we got to the majestic, which is really fancy, and uh, we didn't go to any rooms to get a proper sleep. But we did watch Sir Frederick show off a coin, and then the barman is taking us somewhere in the back. So I'll keep you updated, but that's what's going on now. Nico out. As you are taken behind the bar, there is like a secret door. Uh, let's get some new music on. You're taken down a dark stairs almost feels like you're walking to nothingness and all of a sudden you start coming into this empty chamber. There's like a row of seats. It's almost kind of like a meeting room type cell. Uh, you're ushered by Sir Frederick to have a seat. Um, he quickly gets some servants over to come and grab um, Jean, uh, Sean and to take him to an infirmary because he looks really bad off sick must have way too much like alcohol poisoning or something like that and then Kalis is offers to help escort him up and that's where Kalis and sean would be john pierre would be at for this session so uh what do y'all like to do he doesn't look so hot no he doesn't he what did, what did he eat? Not much, honestly. But he did have a lot of alcohol. Yeah, he does Too eat much. like a bird. That's true. Very little. Surprisingly, he actually eats a lot. You also see in the back corner, or in the back, uh, there's a nice little fire going as well. Hmm. Is there anyone else down here or in here? Uh, just Sir Frederick right now, and he ushers you to take a seat, and he's helping take back, and he says, uh, the Keeper will be with us shortly. Keeper. Uh, yeah, the ones that run, the one that runs the Majestic here. What do they keep? The, the Keeper, the Majestic. To keep this place. It's just a, it's just a title that. Oh, okay. It's like it probably drives her name keeper. Oh, got it. Or the province is going to go sit there, and they don't let unwanted things pass them. So anyway. this is probably majestic for us, but maybe not for you, Arvind. What's that supposed to mean? I'm just imagining that where you're from, things are quite nice. Are you trying to say that all elf things are nice? Because that seems like a... I don't know. That doesn't seem quite accurate. Just Arwenes. I didn't say all elf things. Okay. I can agree with that. Okay, when did this conversation turn to me? Uh, it started that way. Okay. We're not discussing about my birth stuff, okay? It's none of your business right now. I thought we were just discussing how nice you are. No, he made a comment of my upbringing. Hmm. As I'm glaring right at you, Song. So, 
changing the subject, I suppose. Uh, uh huh. How how did you and Verana be? It's kind of a strange triangle, you, Verana, and Fane. Well, I didn't know about Fane until after a while when she finally got to the fighting arena. I didn't know about her powers until after the fact where she connected us, which was very strange and interesting to find out. I guess I can't help but wonder why did Verana choose you or why did you choose Verana? He chose me. I don't know why I heard her voice that day, but I did, and I answered back. I seemed to be the only one I answered, that answered her. I'm not sure how many she called out to, but I heard her voice, that's all it. And you were going to help her get released, and after that, yeah. lo lose all your powers? Was that what was going to happen? I, I, I like to think y'all are talking about me right in front of me, and uh, you just as a compliment. Sorry, Verona. I mean, at least it is they're not apologies. talking behind your back. My apologies on that one. I forgot you were here. It's been a stressful day. So I'm forgettable now. No, just... no, no. Oh. Okay. It's been a long night. We've done a lot in a few hours. It's a little unnerving because I'm so used to you being in my head and not in a body. Okay. She you takes often a seat. talk to her like that. Well, she's no longer controlling my power, so yeah, I could be a little mm -hmm. snippier. So we're just assuming that she's never going to again control your powers. Yes. Okay. Uh, glitch, glitch to catch you up. I'm sorry. Glitch to catch you up. Uh, we went down into like a meeting area type area. Uh, Sean was taken by Kalis up into the infirmary with uh, Sir Frederick. And y'all kind of sitting here waiting as you were told the keeper will be with you shortly. Sorry, go ahead. So, Verona, why did you choose Iwinus? He kind of like said, I would ask, like, why would anyone choose I would ask? She's going to give you a very rude gesture at that. <laughs> a very elven rude gesture. Should I answer this, uh, Owenus, or would you like to answer it? Go right ahead. He asked you. This is being we felt like that we can help each other. She wanted a way out, and I needed a way out, so it was kind of mutual. Out of what? Where? Uh, obviously out at the cards. But not out, so I guess it's more of saving Fane now. Hmm. I very much would yep. like to have my fire body back. Sounds hot. Does sound like a very respectable relationship. Mm -hmm. And did you mm -hmm. get out, I wonder? I'm here, aren't I? So, uh, Providence, I can't help but noticing you give me some sustained looks or piercing glances at me. Uh, is there anything I can do to... Give me my friend back. That's what we're trying to do, Give love. me my friend back now. 
I'm not able to, my dear. Uh, then you can't help me. Uh, does anybody have the ability to cast Disguise Self on me? Oh, on you, no. Uh, I think that was only John, but he's at a commission six, so... Alright, let me... know. I'm just thinking maybe it might help the situation if I didn't look like her. No, disguise self is just a range of self. For, at least for me. I... If we gain more levels, they can make you invisible. <laughs> just too much. I like that. Bane used to cover herself with a cloak. Do we I have a spare cloak? Me... Sorry. Well, if we can get me a spare cloak, I'll cover myself with the cloak for you, my darling. About this time, the door creeps open. That steps through is a nightly clean, sleek black hair, uh, perfectly parted beard, human face, humanoid. You know, human. He was a human. Um, has a, a scar right down the side of his cheek as he steps forward and comes into the room, walking with his hands behind his back like a proper person. Welcome, my uh, darlings. Uh, this is I am the keeper. Uh, so Frederick told me much about you. Uh, I understand that you wish to join the order. Nope. I see some just raises an eyebrow <laughs> and pulls his arms and kind of sits back. Technically, most of us are still on the fence about it. Glancing at Isam. And we're kind of down a couple of people since they're not, they're helping our bird friend get better. I understand that you uh, have leads about the uh, Eater of Souls. Perhaps yeah. I can sway you off the fence. We have a communion, a uh, agreement, if you will, with the divine Vanguard, which is the people of uh, Anyala's group. They're holy warriors that fought for Inyala. So um, we can reach out to our contacts to help if that's what you're looking to do. They have a massive library, by the way, as well. Plus a history on the stuff that has happened. That's part of the reason why we're here as well. As well as to get a friend back who's been trapped. So, and uh, can a few work, uh, coin, magical items, anything that will help? What kind of magical items? Get all kinds. But they do require payment of those gold coins that you, or medallions that uh, you saw Sir Frederick use to come back here. But you can earn those by doing missions for us. What kind of missions? All kinds. Assassinations. Quests. When you say assassinations, who are your enemies? Currently, our enemies, our main enemy, I don't even want to say enemy, enemy group would be the Black Order, because they are our rival, but 
word has come to me recently that they have more, they'll be distracted with a different threat that's coming after them. But we're more of a secret organization. We make things happen. People come to us for jobs that needs completed. We usually assassinate corrupt people. They're in higher power. Typically like to hire people skilled in those. Yeah. So or what's your... as corrupt. Like what's an example? I'm I'm sorry, I just want to wrap my head around this properly before we like move forward. Our research shows that there's been years is is it's a tremendous task, but the royal family is corrupt in dealings with the Black Order. Um, but so you like, want us to kill the royal family? No, no, no. I, I'm giving you okay. examples. You asked for examples. I'm trying to give you an example that you might understand that because it's a royal family. People within power, say like the a lord of a city, maybe they're corrupt and making the place miserable for people and maybe want to take them out if they're doing evil dealings. Or necess not necessarily, I guess say assassinations is a wrong term. Just relieve them of their duties in any way possible. Or you take uh, jobs. Currently, we came across our uh, desk recently. Is a job for... There's been disappearings in East Haven. Recently, a Lark the Larkin family lost some family members, and needs expecting like people disappearing throughout the East Haven. So Do if people see them disappear? They go Do missing, they and then there's re been reports of like ghostly type figures that look like the people that are disappeared. So. Hmm. Um, so, uh, the Larkin family is the most recent. They've requested our aid along with, um, some people from the city guard. I can get you in touch with the Sentinel, uh, another position here within the order that has our connections with the city guard. So he has more information on the guards we need to talk to. If you're interested, you can think it of as uh, a tryout for the order. And as you're doing that, we can work on our contacts at the Divine God, Vanguard, and uh, get you more information on what you're looking for. Is your connection to Craven through the Divine Vanguard? Or is he a member of you? He was a member that went missing several years ago. And that has come to a sad, sad end. But yes. Uh, Mr. Keeper. Yes. Could could we have a moment? Not not you and me. Um, me and everyone else. Just to discuss. Oh, by all means, I'll take my leave. I'll I'll, I'll have some drinks with you. And uh, give a couple merry rooms for tonight. Could I ask a couple of quick questions before you take off, if you don't mind? But of course. Uh, I, I hope it's not important to ask, but do you mind if I ask how you're funded? This place is gorgeous. Well, uh, this organization's been around for 500 years. I guess I was just wondering if there are moments where your source of funding could potentially impact your compass. Uh, you asking on morally compass. I guess I can you assure know, you that we are here for the better good. But sin, I am just a keeper of this establishment, 
Each other majestic has a different keeper. If you would like, I could tell you the positions that each establishment will have. Each establishment has a keeper, a mitzer, a shadow hand, a sentinel. Those are four main advisors of the staff. And of course, you got the Castion that is the host when you walk in. The one you met on the way in. And does each Majestic have its own unique alliances? Like, you guys are connected to the Divine Vanguard, and you said the Larkin family. Would other well, Majestics no, the Larkin have family other... requested our aid. Mm. That's all. Would, would other Majestics have other connections and other alliances? Depending on what's, which one city they're in. And, and each one out? has their own head running each location. And who else are you allied with besides the the Divine Vanguard? We're allied with the City God, Town Council. But it's very secret. We keep this organization secret to keep people safe. And... Uh, When, what is your interest in the Black Order? Why have they become your rivals and why? The Black Order is a pirate founded organization. My understanding that you were escaping them or something. Is that not the case? Nope. That is the case, yes. Oh, yes. You do have a common enemy. Maybe not Nico. She's a postal worker. <laughs> Ah, uh, the seven Ps. Yep. It's very good at deliveries. Very much so. Uh, at the, this establishment, uh, the person that overall in charge is Mr. Trinity. But uh, nobody's, he, he stays behind locked doors. Nobody's seen him for years. So he communicates through messages. So with that being said, uh, if you have any more questions, I'll get you your drinks. You can have wine, ale. I'll just bring, I'll have a little buffet of alcohol brought to you. And food as well. Can I get a Caesar some... there? Do you guys have the ingredients <laughs> for Caesar? But of course, we have anything your hearts desire. Isam will look really quickly at Glitch to see if Glitch had any questions. I can't answer what. <laughs> Just sitting there relaxing, <laughs> listening. <laughs> you really, technically, you could almost still be drunk. There isn't a lot of time. <laughs> <laughs> no, y'all had a long rest on the car. We had a long rest, yeah. Oh, we did? Yeah. yeah. You could be like a little hungover. Yeah, yeah. be that. You found I'm a Working magazine. on your neck, being drunk. <laughs> A medical condition. So you take your time to think about and agree uh, or disagree. Um, and uh, I think we could be very beneficial with each other. And he slides out. Are you from the north? I haven't heard anybody order a seat. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> yep. I'm, I'm from there too. We'll have okay. to uh, we'll have to discuss our home sometime. As I quickly open my character sheet and remember the name of the town. Well, you two enjoy bonding. We need to discuss if we're going to join or not, or are we going to take a trial run to join? So now some of us have some reservations about joining, which is understandable. But do you think they'll help us get fame back? Most likely, yes. It's longer to stop the Black Order, which will stop the Black Order if we get that dagger, at least for a bit. 
it'll help Bane at the same point. So I think yes on that one. Then I, I vote in. Glitch? By the way, oh, I'm man. in as well. Thank you, Verana. Neat. Providence can roll her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Glitch, go ahead. Oh. I'm in. Yeah. Nico, you're new to the group, but do you want to join us in this? No, I'll hang around for a while. Okay. I mean, I, as done? long as you guys don't mind me finishing my delivery before. Yeah, yes, that's, that's fine. That's fine. He's some? He just looks very troubled. And he says, um, I've had experience with groups of people who think they're doing the right thing. And they can be the most dangerous people. I think they undeniably have resources that we'll need if we're going to stop the Black Order. But I just, I just want to make sure we keep our eyes open. Yes. Can you be our eyes? You, yeah, you, you can be our eyes. Yeah, for sure on that. Since you've been part of a group before that you've never been a part of, yeah. even though they were evil. But you do have more... I well, didn't you're say kind of part of the Black <laughs> Order. The Black Order is kind of evil, dude. Yeah, that's not who I was referring to. Okay. But yeah, there's that too. <laughs> okay, so you you have multiple experience, so you could be our one to keep us more reasonable and not get ahead of ourselves. A door swings mm -hmm. open, Rich. and this table with a cloth with foods, wine, ale floats right in and sets down, and a door shuts. This should really decrease uh... those injuries. Glitch, how does us joining help you? Let's see. I can get vengeance on the asshats who kept me prisoner for two years for no reason. I would like that too. He does have a point on that one. That's a good point. It's a very good point. And you were about the same amount of time with us, or were you recent bit more. Isam? I'm sorry, I didn't understand what she oh, said. Uh, there was a loud you, car sorry. in the background. <laughs> uh, you were about the same time as us. Like, you've been there for a couple of years as well, or not that long either? Um, Jugan, I was there about the same time. Is that right? Or a little bit less? I don't remember what you said for is that. I think you were there. No, you, you got were there pretty short. Yeah, you were yeah, there. Yeah, was pretty short. Yeah. Yeah, you were there maybe a few days before they arrived. Yeah, I my uh, my village had been captured after you were already there, but uh, before uh -huh. uh, Kalis and uh, that Manny fellow uh, and... Uh, and, and that group arrived. Oh. And Verana, what's your interest in joining, if you mind I ask? Uh, they wish to stop, or they have the means to help us stop the resummoning of the Eater of Souls. My body is tied. What was her name? Ira, I think it was. Ira, yeah. So, uh, my Betty is with Fane inside the dagger that she is holding. She is part of the group that's trying to get or release the Eater of Souls. So, uh, I very much that's my reason. Yeah. Can Plus, oh, uh, I want to get Fane back to this body so you're. Your big, beautiful blonde uh, doesn't kill me. Uh, she wouldn't kill you. She would just make you hurt a lot. Providence kind of like just swings her sword in front of her because it's, it's always right at her side. She kind of just like swings it in front of her and rests on it a little bit. 
Just, yeah, like that. I think it sounds like you all have very sound reasons. I do, obviously, I have my reservations, but uh, I, I too want to aid in taking down the Black Orb. Uh, I forgot to mention, I prepared, uh, I forgot to say this earlier, I prepared, uh, what's that spell? Gentle Repose, uh, to use on the head so that it doesn't decompose in the bag. Um, <laughs> I totally forgot to mention that, uh, earlier, but I wanted to make sure I, I caught that before I forget again. Um. Oh, the problem is the bag is with Kate Alis right now, so. Oh, he probably would have done that in the morning. Yeah, you probably done it in the cart. Or just it? Okay. Yeah, we can yeah. probably, we just say you did it in the cart for you got out. Yeah, I don't want to have a big, gross ass glob of goo in your bag of holding. That would be terrible. <laughs> um, Isam's gonna like his eyes are gonna turn black, and he's gonna have like a short moment where he says a prayer. Uh, and you'll see him just be really silent for like maybe like 30 seconds as he like consults uh, with his um, with his deity for a moment and then his eyes kind of return uh, like I'm imagining he probably just got silent if he did that right Jugan I don't necessarily have a spell what are you trying to do? Uh, he's gonna try to consult with the unseen Ah. Since the last time he joined a group like this, like he did some pretty terrible things to her specifically. So like <laughs> he's gonna like yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. So he'll he'll say a, a little prayer uh and wait for a sign or an answer of some sort. And if he gets something, he gets something. If he doesn't, he doesn't. Uh, do you want the party to hear your prayer or uh he'll do it in his mind, not necessarily speaking it out loud. Uh, but I don't care if the party hears or not. Uh, like I don't care if the character, like the, I don't care if the players hear. But the so my question is, you want stream to hear it, or you just want to do a direct message to me? Uh, stream can hear it. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah. He's. Okay. You guys don't have to like leave or anything, but he's gonna just kind of whisper in his mind, uh, "Mistress of speak of secrets, keep of the spaces in between." Uh, I call for guidance. And then he'll just wait. Call for guidance. Are you are you saying anything specifically? Or are you just assuming she understands what you're asking about? I'm as, I'm assuming she understands what I'm asking about. Like he'll just asking about for me, player knowledge, where you are over the table. Uh, he's asking he's asking about like joining the Order of Goblets and oh, okay. seeking her her approval or her disapproval. Okay. The last time I did something like this ended terribly. Right? But it seems like the right thing to do. You hear in your mind. <laughs> You're tied to the vanguard. Be very beneficial for you. That's all she hears. I don't know if you okay. heard it or not. Yeah, I heard it. I heard it. All of a sudden, his eyes come black. Uh, come, not come black. Come back. <laughs> black. <laughs> Words in English. Uh, and uh, he nods and he says, with a lot more resolution, I think it is wise to join. What happened to your eyes? I... You know, my powers come from a variety of sources, and one of them in particular is, is very knowledgeable. She offers dreams, sometimes relays messages from the dead that can be really helpful in making decisions and knowing what the right thing to do is. Is it like when my eyes glow? Mm, probably not the same. A little bit different. You know what I mean? He like shows various trinkets. He's like, uh, often when I try to call for speed, this is uh, from the primordial forces of air and time. Sometimes dominoes, uh, he's, uh, you know, connected to the hells. Uh, he's very good for things like blessings. Uh, 
Uh, other times, they get other... blessings from hell. <laughs> oh yeah. The other times, there are deities, good deities, that are helpful for something like uh, calling rays of light from the heavens. Uh, it's a wide variety. Just like Nirvana, like uh, there's a lot of spirits, fey gods and goddesses that that can all have a place and can all be helpful. So long as you understand where they're coming from and you don't entrap yourself too deeply into obligations you're not prepared for. Okay. So we're all in agreement then? Well, we haven't heard from this one. Nico, what, why do you want to join? Well, they said they pay. I could use some money. That's it. Can I incite that? <laughs> yeah, I was actually going to. Yeah, as well. sort of just... <laughs> We're all inciting. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, I was like, you just a mercenary? Are you? I'm a male woman. <laughs> as you're all having this conversation, you hear thunder and rain brewing. As you came in, it was a little overcast, and now mm. rain and thunder is now approached. Mm. Uh, I got um, me What am I rolling for this? <laughs> it should be just your... Deception. If Probably. you're trying to deceive them? It's, so either de deception or persuasion? Yeah. Either way, it's the same. It's the same modifier. It's a negative two. Ouch. <laughs> I thought it was going to be, like, completely lost. Okay. <laughs> What'd you get? Zero? Me? Oh, sorry. I got a 14. I was waiting for them to say what all their insights were. Oh, I got a 10. I wrote oh. 16. And... Yeah, sorry? Uh, 18. Okay. Uh, Winnis, did you roll or did you not? I did not roll, no. I don't care if I want to roll. <laughs> uh, let, me, right, let me roll quickly, hold on. I hate doing this on the phone. I got 19. 19? Ooh, okay. you beat me here. I got 18. Um... You get the feeling that Nico really needs money. I would explain the strip poker. That wasn't for money. <laughs> no, you do that for fun. Okay. Jaylis would probably be probably gonna join us as well for his own reasons. Especially to try to save Manny as well. Do you think that JP will mind that uh, he's a pirate and we're joining an anti-pirate organization? I think he might, but he is in it for the money. I'm going to be honest. Last time he talked about it was for money. So yeah, you but... understand him much better than I do. That does track with uh, well, pirates. We've been, we've been in the same cage for two years, you kind of learn a thing or two with each other. And she glares right at Glitch for the s stealing her food. Like, yeah. <laughs> Isam doesn't really touch the food. Like, he just kind of looks at it suspiciously. I like the idea of a trial time to get a feel for the organization, too. Like hey, Sam, give me a constitution something. saving throw. I mean, he ate rations and whatnot, but Constitution saved him through it. That is a natural one. <laughs> as you're trying to, as you eyeing the food, trying to talk to them, you just like, your mouth starts watering a little bit. You're like, mm, that smells so fucking good because you've been eating rations. You've been locked up or you yeah. really, you've been like a prisoner and. But everybody else, it's kind of, kind of starts going for everybody. Keep in mind, you were locked up eating barely nothing. So, 
Oh yeah, this I'm definitely is... eating. Actually, Providence right. ate quite well. He's gonna do his best to resist, looking at it very suspiciously, and then his hand will kind of like slip over and grab like a piece of cheese. And another one. And another one. <laughs> I'm gonna make um two Caesars and hand one to Providence. Uh, I I haven't actually ever had one of these before. Huh? I, I I left I left the north. Okay. Well, enjoy your first. You you're not allergic to seafood, are you? No. Okay. Good. Then yeah, enjoy shellfish. You're good with shellfish. Yeah. That that okay. is seafood. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Some That's seafood. Differentiate them. I don't know good. why, but. Do they have shellfish in a chicken Caesar salad? No, she just said Caesar salad. She didn't say chicken Caesar salad. She I did not say Caesar salad. salad. No, this oh, is no salad know. involved with this particular it's drink. It's Caesar. No, you guys. What is this? I uh, will also remind you, East Haven is a port city, so. The Caesar. So, fish so a Caesar. Providence is currently holding a glass <laughs> with a weird red liquid in it. Uh, does it have any garnishes? Is there like a celery stick in there? Um, if there stick. was if there was celery, I would put celery. There'd be some nice rimmer on it. Yeah, yeah. it's got like it's got like Is the it a you drink? know what? I'm... Yeah. Yes, I'll post it right away. I'm work- looking out for you folks down south. What's it? <laughs> and it's a drink that's made out of shellfish. Is that what's happening here? Yeah. No, uh, clam- clams like, and tomato cl- juice mixed together. Clam yeah. yeah. and tomato it's, juice. Uh, tomato, so uh, clam and tomato juice mixed together. Yeah. Oh, uh, people uh, watching like, a stream, these are Canadians, and this is a Canadian <laughs> drink. All right, it's, it's like a it's like a clammy, bloody Mary kind. At some point, we get back to the game today. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> this is all part of the game. This is in character yeah. now. It's in Twitch. You have to. So everybody how come it. I have to make the Constitution saving throw and they're drinking clams? Like, <laughs> have you never had? Actually, no, yours was to resist the aroma of the food. I saw the the Caesar and I get up because it's good for hangovers. Yeah. Uh, So Uh, she's gonna she's gonna cheers you. By the way, you got you got that uh you got that silver. Hmm. You got that. We got cheap beers at Parking Star. Sorry, hold on. I I have on it right now. Give me a sec. Two seconds. Sweet. Oh. Yeah, the bots are in full force. I haven't had them in a long time, and then starting Friday and today, I've gotten one. Yeah, I, I got two last night. I haven't had any in a long ass time, and then. And know, I quickly I, realized that that's something I've never taken care of myself. <laughs> and I was like, oh shit, how do I, how do I delete this message? You're going to have to stay with me because I'm on one screen. I don't have multiple this time. No, 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 so no worries. No it's going to take no me a little worries. bit louder. No okay. As the other, one of the other mods, I also didn't notice. <laughs> no. Okay. So. I have an eyeball in this die. I just wanted to tell you guys that. Mm. Caesar. That We're sounds so absolutely focused disgusting. tonight, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did so you for- order a side of Ludafisk with your Caesar? Or- At some point, <laughs> we got what I have planned for tonight, you know? <laughs> okay. So oh, yeah. we're going to say yes, then. All of us. Yeah. Yeah. At least for now. Reasons. I'll sit quietly and just nod while the rest of you are eating cheese. Yeah. <laughs> you enjoy that food. You enjoy that food, you son. I'll so. just nod while, while the rest of you. Excuse me. Mm-hmm. Does anybody You're want fine. to try I'm good. good. No. No. <clears throat> no. I'm good. Thank you. Yeah. Mm-mm. Isan just looks no. disgusted. Yeah, no. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Some. They're actually really no, tasty. I'm good, thank you. You sure? They're yummy. Yeah, no, no, I'm good. Glitch I'm gets good. it. Yeah, Glitch, glitch can have... Well, Glitch has ventured a lot farther it's than I have, so... Obviously healthy, because it has celery in it. Actually, it's all natural. Everything in it. It's got protein, it's got veggies. Yep. It's got vodka. good for you. All right, so I guess we call. Yeah. We're, 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 we
calories to chew than you get from eating it. I think I read Only that if you once. chew it properly. Full of water. Are you just swallowing celery whole, or what's going on there? Like, <laughs> no, you dip it can in we and focus, suck the juice please? off it. Yeah, can we get back so I don't <laughs> have to <laughs> edit <laughs> <at> so much? <laughs> can we focus? You guys, Even though since we ain't played in like two weeks, I'll be all, all about it. No, let's talk about a drink in Canada. <laughs> Yo, this is important. Uh, it's in the north, not Canada. It's in the north. Oh my god. Don't break oh the immersion, Jugan. The five pounds? Yeah. You already it, did. It, 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 Clearly, orc territory is also Canada. Like, we got. <laughs> well, yeah, it's like English and French Canadian. Pretty much. I won't say which one's which. Um, I'll, The orcs are the French Canadians because everyone hates them. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Well, just sitting there. Know that the Quebecois know this. Mm -hmm. Have you guys decided? Am I ready to bring Beth mm -hmm. the Keeper back in? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Uh, wait, wait, wait. What can we ask? Can we ask for anything? Like, like he wants us to join. Like he clearly wants us to join. Can we like? Mm -hmm. We should let him know what we have to offer as leverage, possibly. Well, like, information. Could I, I get like a, a big fancy sword? But Sir Frederick already told him about us. Not everything. There's some things he did not learn. Must. We have the list, for example. Plus the location, more of it. You didn't get to hear it, see that exactly. Plus the Eason and, and I know some stuff that... Oh, mm -hmm. never mind. What? What do you mean? Oh, we just... It's okay. We had a conversation with... Um... Yeah, which we still need to talk about later, but not right now. Okay. So yeah, let's get uh, the keeper back in here and we'll... Maybe we could ask him nicely and say that we have a great need having been former slaves. Uh... We can put that into words as well. Alright, let's do this then. Yeah, so Providence just starts yelling out, Keeper! Full volume. Providence, you hear in your head. It sounds like... Providence, you hear in your head. You don't have to yell. I'm coming. Oh, thanks. She yells oh. that out too. <laughs> <laughs> Door swings open. He walks back in. Slide back in. <sighs> uh, you rang? You have come to the decision? Yes. We're going to need weapons. Yes. We're you definitely have... going to join. Excellent. Uh, do you want to take that uh, job and help find missing people while we do some research on your behalf for what you might need? Is there anything specific you want us to do research while you're you know, tracking down the missing people? If you would like. Again, I remind you to earn the magical weapons you'll need those gold medallions you earn those by doing missions as such the secret handshake coins <laughs> fine i mean could we borrow some magic weapons are well, you gonna have access to any standard very actually they're very nicely he explains to you like very nicely kept, like very, they're not like magical or anything. They're just very finely kept weapons. Basically any standard weapon from the PHB. Yeah. So yeah, you can, uh, uh, hmm. what else, what I established for that was? Also, the the marrow will be your contact for that. So it's also in charge of the the magical weapons. So if you ever want to get any magical weapons, you need to pay with those medallions. As I said, so the marrow, he's down in uh, for lack of a better term, store for the private order of you guys. And as you can see. As you come in, 
There is a public area for the public because they don't know we exist. Mm -hmm. So, I give you guys a complimentary one medallion for joining. You can use this, show this at any majestic and the access to the hidden part. And you get one room a night for those medallions. How big are these medallions? They're probably about like that big. Bigger, bigger than a gold coin. Yeah, probably about the side of a tennis ball, I guess. Only flattered. <laughs> yes. So I'll give. So uh, for you guys, it'd be easier if you want to use uh, what's the middle one that nobody ever uses. Silver, I think, or Electrum? No, no. Electrum. 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 Yeah, so it'd be easier for you guys just use that one because we don't use Electrum. Okay. Uh, and we'll use that as your other currency for the order. So we should add one now? Yeah, he, he gains you all one of those. And it gives you all a free room for tonight. Free chill. You have your own private room. So you, you see Providence take the medallion just like who would you like to uh, did, did you again uh, you, I didn't get a real good clear answer are you going to help find the missing people yeah oh yeah we'll do that sure who would you like to would you like to talk to the, the family or the gods family Probably the family first, and then maybe the guards after. Okay. Getting multiple perspectives might help. All right. Uh, who's y'all's notekeeper? Who keeps track of things? If I tell this. I, can read. I have a notebook. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the Larkin family. Uh, Eldrick, Myra, and Lyra. They're the family members. Myra's their teenage daughter. Uh, Lila and Eldrick are the parents. Um, they're a very, they have a reputation of being kind and generous. There is a, they are a well-respected merchant family. And then uh, when you go talk to the gods, we have three key members that has more information on the missing people. Uh, we have Recruit Tomlin, Lieutenant Alara Thorne, and Captain Arik Blackwood. Sorry, what was the lieutenant's name? Lieutenant Alara Thorne. Uh, Thorne, sorry. Thorne. T-H-O-R-N-E. My pen decided it wasn't going to work for all of the names of the family. Eldrick, Myra, and Lyra Larkin. Thank you. All right. With that being said, uh, you can find... Let me pull up the map. Come on, map, load. There we go. You can find the families estate in the Central Heights at the end of Haven Street where it meets uh, Whitford District Avenue. Okay. It'd be I right across from 
broken at. What is the keeper's name again? Keeper. We never got his name. Yeah, we don't use real names here to keep the secrecy. We use our titles. Do you know our names? No, I do not, and I wish not to know your names. So Plausible deniability. uh, So to distinguish between two different keepers, do you usually use the title... East Haven Keeper, or like just keep him. So, how do you know whether you're talking about the keeper of East Haven and the or the keeper of a different majestic? I imagine if you're talking to the keeper and one of the majestics, you know which one you're talking to. Just saying. Regarding the Black Order. Does the Eater of Souls mean anything to you? Do the roll die. I understand with our dealings with the Divine Vanguard and their research. It's been a while since I've seen anything on the Eater of Souls. But and Yala gave her life to seal him away. But everything else, it's been a while. I have to relook. And if we wanted to meet with the Divine Vanguard, I can set up a meeting be... for you. Unless you want to do it yourself, it's up to you. I can send word that you would go looking for them. What shall we call you for your group? Oh. We never thought about that. Well, they're all heroes, so something heroic. I think you guys previously told me you guys were uh, Manny's magnificent uh... no that was manny's idea completely that was none of ours so we're not doing that so how about this we we'll go ahead and take our break now oh no no you guys can think on that during break we'll take a 10 minute break and uh we'll be back guys thank you for hanging out like trains for the followers i thought is what you Oh, uh, what was Dan's character's name? I'm drawing a blank. Melotis. Melotis. Yeah, Melotis' uh, daughter when you first met Letsy. When you first met stop. Letsy. You can stop emotionally manipulating the good players. We need to kill this woman. <laughs> I just this said. More motivation for Damnos. Well, uh, Damnos doesn't care for her. Yeah, Damnos all, doesn't give also. a shit. I mean, I. I've used the safe word in the past, but it wasn't quite in the same context. Gross, uh, man. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. What context? No, no. Yes, no. Please, baby, elaborate. Nice. <laughs> Fish bump. <laughs> I'm to reach him. <laughs> I was just going to come over here like, no, 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 <laughs> no. Yeah. Please tell, so, me, tell me they clipped that one. So we're gonna check only, out the prison cells. We can smash the prison door. Yeah, open. Sebastian goes, We've got a robe though. And then he looks down at Remy. <laughs> we have a robe. <laughs> uh, Lauren's just gonna look over at Jean and says, You know, I pick on Belbrum, but that kid has a lot of. He's got a lot of spirit. You know, I don't have any siblings. And you know, I always wanted a little brother. I mean, like, we won't really kill you unless someone puts, like, a bounty on your head or something. So you'll have to worry about that. (laughs) She's she's the best. Like, the best. I'll, I'll, like, kneel down. You don't have to kneel to me. I'm not, like, some queen or anything. No, just, like... But you're my queen. (laughs) God. (laughs) 
you're supposed to wait till we're private to say that. Shut up! Ah, who was that? Who are you? Ah! Bait, 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 bait. Calm down. Okay, Calm down. Okay, okay, okay. You take 11 points of uh, psychic damage. Oh, no. It's my time to shine. <laughs> Calm emotions, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Do you, have, do you have it prepared? That's I do. I brought it just for this moment. Somebody clip this. that shit. Alana is coming. Oh. Like, Somebody clip emotion. the common mood. Is that a drink? It can yeah. be a food. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Got these two uh, two potions to do a to hold on to them, or do you guys? They can't uh, counterspell I, potions. Oh my god! Why didn't we think uh, of this before? I, I I had yeah. potions. I just after he attacked. Got yeah, so that's why I didn't heal you. What do you mean? You're taking Here. 11 points of damage. I'm not sure what happened, but I think it was the 70s and everyone had crazy pants and there was very funny music. I kind of want to go back, to be honest. There's nothing left except this. I'm going to keep this and I put it in my bag of holding. I'll put my ass sign in my bag of holding. <laughs> you gotta yeah. carry your parents' ass got, with you everywhere well, you listen, go. Listen, at least I got that ass now. <laughs> oh and I'll God. put it in my bag. <laughs> then I will, I will, uh, I will take a moment and just like. But to clarify, my hands I want to clarify out. this. It's like half of the A and half of the S's. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Still counts. So you're only half assing it. <laughs> Oh, oh god. god. The, the, like the little but why? There. That was <laughs> that point. Do they have slop and Brinchander? It could be we could never have slop again. That could be the last slop that we've ever eaten in our whole life. We we could retire and, and open our own slop shop. Slop shop. Wow. Call it sloppy seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Somebody needs to clip that one. For sure. Point. Do they have slop and Brinchander? It could be. We could never have slop again. That could be the last slop that we've ever eaten in our whole life. We, we could retire and, and open our own slop shop. Slop shop. Wow. Call it sloppy seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Somebody needs to clip that one. For sure. It is gross. What? What's Ooh. gross? Ooh. Ooh. Uh, he, he has no mouth anymore. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not really the worst thing. <laughs> I, I am picking up on that. But, uh... Oh my god, that's gotta it, be clipped. It's... That's gotta be clipped. <laughs> Why did they blindfold you anyway? I'm very confused. We do know what we're looking for. So nice of them to provide complimentary popcorn with breakfast. <laughs> it's, it's wonderful. It's fantastic. It's, it's the best buttered popcorn. They got that fresh else. butter flavor. So you, you looked for us because we're powerful? Because anytime trouble happens, you don't seem to be too far behind. Would have been nice to compliment us and say yes, but that's fine too. <laughs> I mean, the obvious doesn't need saying, right? <laughs> it blasted. Not great. Uh, she will take 14 radiant damage. Uh, and then the wall does shorten by 10 feet, so it's now only 50 feet long. This tree I want to see falls off. over and it's on fire now. Oh, I want to see you balance the fire on top of the tree, like you were trying. <laughs> oh, shut up. Uh, how much damage was it? 14. Is, uh, Go 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 Gargoth, is he here? Of course I'm here! Sebastian hears it in his head. Sebastian says, Whoop, 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 uh, uh, just for fun, um, I'm just gonna cast Fairy Fire. Is this, is this how he's gonna permanently be now? Like, 
I oh. hope so. Oh, oh, only boy. until. Is it worse? What's inside the globe? Ooh, what's in the globe? What's in the box? It's a thing in a thing. What's in the box? Don't, don't we're, we're getting to the point where you know we're getting old enough where that that's gonna not be understood by a lot of people. Oh God! <laughs> that's that's in the box. <laughs> <laughs> I just speak up. If uh, the good the good gnome would allow me to hold any of these items, I could tell you exactly what they are. I, I assume you know. Um, you've achieved something. Uh, again, a proud Britain look on Bjorn's face. <laughs> Um, Excellent, Rocket's guys. like proud, like there's a smile on his face, ear to ear, like this is just a job for him. Right. Um, but while you were away, we were having a discussion. Um, oh, proud look sinks yeah, up your face, slowly fades at the same time <laughs> <laughs> as Bjorn. Just about it takes. The, the love between the gnome and his axe beak <laughs> can't be quantified in time, Doros. I'm just gonna ride up in the battle. I, I have polymorph. I can turn into an axe beak if you want me to. And you could ride me. Oh, that's, oh my god. Oh, that's no, way, no, no, yes. no. That is way kinkier than I thought this episode was gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> I just plop down wherever I am. Um, it's okay for now. Actually, I take one popcorn. Eat it. As I'm... It's not popcorn. We don't have popcorn. It's scraps of meat that I keep from previous dishes. Uh, it's it's not... Did you realize you picked up a piece of slop? <laughs> it's, not... it's good. It's it's really good. That was the best part. Dominus, okay. is not Dominus. Uh... Oh, what was Dan's character's name? I'm drawing a blank. Melotis. Melotis. Yeah, Melotis is a uh, daughter. When you first met Letsy, when you first met stop. Letsy, you can stop emotionally manipulating the good players. We need to kill this woman. <laughs> I, I just this said. Is more motivation for Damnos. <laughs> well, uh, Damnos doesn't care for her. Yeah, Damnos doesn't give a shit. Sure. I mean, I've, I've used the safe word in the past, but it wasn't quite in the same context. Gross, um, man. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. What context? No, no, yes, no. Please, baby, elaborate. Nice fish bump. <laughs> Try to reach him. <laughs> I was just gonna come over here like, no, 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 no. Yeah. Please tell, so, me, tell me they clipped that one. So we're we gonna check only, out the prison we've cells. Got a, we've we got can a, smash the prison door. Yeah. Open. Sebastian goes. We've got a rogue though, and then he looks down at Remy. <laughs> We had to roll. <laughs> uh, Lorwan's just gonna look over at Jean and says, You know, I pick on Belbrum, but that kid has a lot of. He's got a lot of spirit. You know, I don't have any siblings, and you know, I always wanted a little brother. I mean, like, we won't really kill you unless someone puts like a bounty on your head or something, so you'll have to worry about that. <laughs> She's she's the best, like hey, the best. I'll, I'll like kneel down. Yeah, you don't have to kneel to me. I'm not like some queen or anything. No, just like. You, but you know, you're like, my the... queen. <laughs> God. <laughs> you're supposed to wait till we're private to say that. Shut up! Oh, ah, who was that? Who are you? Fate, 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 fate. Calm hey. down. Okay. 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 You take 11 points of uh, psychic damage. Oh, no. It's my time to shine. <laughs> Calm emotions, baby. <laughs> the bravery. Bush X. And welcome back, everybody. Um, yeah. Uh, as he said, by the way, so uh, what would you like to be called? Tony got a good name. We're the chain breakers. Awesome. You're ready for the ritual to be officially inducted into the order. Well, what does the ritual involve? 
some fancy wine out of a goblet everybody drinks out of. Like how the order was founded years ago. How often does this goblet get cleaned? That is a good question. It, it just kind of looks at you in like a questioning eye. That, if that's an unreasonable question, I don't know if I want to drink out of this thing. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. Of course, I'm not it, Fane it, anymore. I so, have standards. Oh, yeah. I'll drink. You get you to keep the no goblet. Shoes. You get to keep the <laughs> goblet. Oh. I thought you said it was a goblet that everyone drinks out of, like a communal yeah, thing. For the, yeah, it's a communal thing, but you guys get to keep the goblet. Okay. Okay. Just one? So, singular? Yeah. So they bring, he brings, um, has a few, some of the servants bring in this like massive goblet. It's golden, as etched in the side, a goblet, and then just like the coins on the other side is the skyline of Yeldravia. Fill it up. It's like this purplish red wine is poured into it. And hands it to each of the altars drink out of. And simplicity of purposes, Kalis and we'll Don? drink this. Yeah. It'll we'll help do their it. alcohol poisoning. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Kalis will come down and have a drink with it too as he's it would be quiet though, it'd be mummed, the word. Hmm. And we like pour it into the beak of the of the <laughs> unconscious bird. <laughs> Have you guys selected, like, Alita at all? Me. No. No. Oh. I don't want that role anyway. <laughs> Arwenus. Me? I second she, that. He hands the goblet to you, Arwenus. Won't you take a drink? Pass it around. All right. She'll take a sip and then pass it to her, right? Who are you I'll, passing it to? I'll right. take it. Isam. Oh, fine. Isam. Mm -hmm. Looks at it kind of uncomfortably. Eyes narrow a little bit at everyone else. And takes a little sip and then passes it to Glitch. Who's literally taking a sip right now? <laughs> <laughs> yep, takes a sip. This is on to Providence. Yeah, she takes it, you know, puts it to her lip, takes a sip, kind of makes a really sour face, and she like looks at Nick and she says, doesn't go well with the Caesar. Mm. Hands it over. <clears throat> take it and kind of mumble something about, of course, I'm the one who has to drink everyone else's germs and take a sip. <laughs> You're forgetting Kalis. Pass it to, yeah. Kalis drinks it, and then he hands it to Verona. Verona drinks it. Sets it down. It tastes all. It tastes sweet and so warm as it fills your body. You guys get your first boon of the campaign. You all mm -hmm. have resistance to necrotic damage. Permit. We already had it. Yeah. <laughs> Me and Providence already had resistance to necrotic. <laughs> well, f get lucky right. you. Immune. <laughs> Also, all right, Ooh. fine. Let's let's make it immune to necrotic damage. Well, now I can't hurt any of you. <laughs> <laughs> Are we all wow. immune? To them? Huh? All immune to necrotic? Holy shit! All immune? Holy shoot! Okay. Active condition. I'm not opposed to this. No. Oh. I don't know how to add it. Oh, I'll figure out how to do that later. Okay. I'll write that down. Excuse me, Keeper. I found it. Um, that wine tastes, it feels like more than just wine. Is that from the goblet or from the wine itself? From the wine itself. Okay. The goblet guys... adds as a con conduit. Okay. And you guys make it in-house or... Yeah, so it was passed down after centuries and centuries from the original founding members as a tradition of what they've done. Mm. 
Okay. We discipled a special rum founded on those values from the lineages of those family members that grants bonuses from them. As long as they remain alive, you will have this boon. Oh, the group of elves. Gotcha. Sir Frederick mentioned them. Elves? Well, I mean, because they're all, like, at least 500 years old, right? You're smarter than you look. Anyway, uh, as now you are officially members of the Order, there's three people you should know. The High Inquisitor Safrina. Yes, just like the god. But she's not the god. I think her family named her after the god. She's a high elf noble. Oh. Ar Archivist Lukish. <laughs> How do you spell Archiv that guy's name? Which one? Uh, the Archivist. Here, I'll put this in chat for you guys. Thank you. Thank you. I'll just put them all in here, and you'll get a little bit more save. information on them. That would save you a lot of work. <laughs> Copy. What does an uh, A look like? I'll, I'll throw them in the order to goblet chat, and you all can okay. pin it, and you're going to refer to them. You go. Right. So High Inquisitor Sephira, Archivist Luquitius. He is a gnome. Luscious, gotcha. Luscious, I'm sorry. And Ambassador Luscious. Isabel. Isabella. Yeah. Please don't actually call him Luscious for the rest of the campaign. I won't be able to take him seriously. <laughs> Luscious is an awesome name. I love it. Yeah. I think it's pronounced Lucius. <laughs> yes, yeah, Lucius. That was funny. Okay. But yes. Those are our faces. Public. What's the word the people use? Uh, Public relations. Yes. They're the, if anybody does come inquiring about the order, they handle it. So with that being said, you mentioned uh, you might be able to look into some things for us. Uh, yes, if you while you're looking into the despairing people, I get our scholars on information for you. Anything specifically you would like, though? Uh, he kind of looks to Ironus and Providence and Glitch and Nico. Go ahead. Glitch, Providence. I mean, I want to find you, some more stuff about the stuff Raven told us. We have some items that uh, we want to find. What are the especially, items? Especially a... Where did I write them all down? Especially a, uh, an orb. To put I have them in. For everybody. My, the yes, orb. please. <laughs> the shadow orb. It's the shadow orb. I remember that because I had to write everything down. We do appreciate that you're turning our campaign into a novel. <laughs> you gotta have notes, man. Like oh, I've got so many notes. That is an important part. Last session was like four and a half pages. I skipped over some details too, but back on track. She didn't add um, in the secret ones with like Providence as a song though. Yeah, so because I could have been like a whole to... other fucking page. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Guys, should I give him the whole list or should I just ask for one at a time? Let's ask for one at a time. Start with just All the right. shadow. We'll start with just the shadow orb. It's like mm -hmm. we have a number of items that will help us in our fight against the Black Order, but. I think the Shadow Orb is the one at the top of our list. 
the shadow orb, okay? Let's see if there's anything in the history books. Anything else? Um, any any books or notes that you have on the the was it the eater of souls, the seeker of souls? Um, that oh, that huh? I'd be able to read and study. I'd I'd appreciate. Please. Of course, of course. Uh, same with um, and 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 Yala. And Yala. Oh, but the course you might get more direct information if you meet with them before I can set it up. Just give me time and I'll get this set up. But, but books are good too, though. They'll help uh, at least for now. And if uh, if you like, it can probably get you into their library. Yeah, you sound like uh, Glitch wanted to do that. Yeah, Isam's going to pull Glitch aside, like, to where other people can't really hear them. And he's going to say, I, Glitch, I, I had a query that I wanted to kind of keep discreet, maybe just between the two of us. I don't know if you'd be willing to help me with something like that. Sure. What's it? Well, yeah. Uh, I don't know, like, I don't know that I want to ask the order directly. I'd rather... I'd rather know for ourselves first before. Well, yeah, we don't know them. Maybe if we get our own personal access to the library without having to consult someone, or we could go to the university in town or something like that. I don't know. Definitely. These guys could be pure evil, too. Possibly. I just. There were some things about the people that attacked us that brought some questions. I just wanted to find answers to privately first. As you're having this conversation, anybody else need to do anything? And then I'll go start heading on that. Uh, Providence runs after, away from the group, but towards the keeper. Uh, she would like to specifically be far away from the group so that they cannot hear what she's asking. <laughs> So you want to ask him to speak in private? Yeah, yeah. Do, do okay. you mind? But of um, course, but of course. Anybody else before I leave? I definitely need to ask you something privately too later. Um, can I get some but like? It can be afterwards, after we find the help of Larkins. It's but no of course, I am here to serve. But to serve is my will. Uh, f foot person. Would you like some boots? We can give you some boots. Yes, that would be foot awesome. Person. That'll save me buying some later. <laughs> Put the puss. Uh, do you need anything? I would love some arrows. Well, you can get those from the marrow. Cool. Uh, I, uh, they're talking in the corner. All right, come on, Providence. You don't know my well, name. I, that's right. Come, <laughs> come by later. Ah, uh, thanks. Um, I, I need you to keep this quiet, but um, can you find me any information on how you kill a genie? Oh. It's an odd request, but uh, I'll have my scholars look for it. Please, please keep this quiet. But of course. Thank you. All right, A he leaves. Uh, sorry, it's on and glitch and continue conversation. I mean, that was pretty much it. We we're gonna, I was gonna try to talk glitch into going to an independent library with me, or if we have access to the Anyala Un library to do something just to two or less. You, you got the vibe that after that conversation, you'll have, once you complete your initial mission with him, you can have access to all that he promised. My camera's doing something really weird. Yeah, you, you get all really washed cool. up. You're glowing. You're, you're <laughs> touched by God. God. You've been touched What's by God. What's going on? Ah, it's the Sunbeam. boon from the goblet. You're gonna melt. Yeah, basically. <laughs> 
Yeah. All right. Uh, a there little bit. Go. Providence comes back Oops. into the room. Yep. We're all just lined up to go have a private conversation. Hey. I guess. <laughs> Are you good, Providence? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Uh, I can't believe you guys made me leader, but all right. I think you're going to be a great leader. I'm a bit rusty, but we'll see how this goes. Who did you led before? Kind of have to be in some, in the, when you're in a position of power, you have to have some sort of relationship skills. What position? I was Noble's daughter. That's all I'll tell you. No, okay. You know, you're going to have to start trusting us eventually. It's more, I don't, it's not that I don't trust you. It's more, I don't want to risk everyone's lives. Any more than we already have. Yeah, I was about to say, like, pretty much everyone's trying to kill us. Right <laughs> yeah, I yeah. think we've done enough. We don't need more. I'll deal with my problems when they come up. If they come up. Okay. But right now, but, it's not that. But our one is, we're stuck together, like, for, for whatever this is, like, like, our lives just are intertwined now. I know. But you guys have your secrets. I know I mine. You're not willing to tell me everything right now, either. And you guys gotta give me time, too. Fair? Okay. You, so uh, you, you also hear the weather light up now. Perfect timing. Let's go help the Larkins. Mm -hmm. I need to retcon something too. I meant to do it and I totally forgot about it. He would have, I'll just say it. He would have also said something about your cart being, having like the Black Order stuff on it. It says, probably would have told you, we're going to keep that in the back and reskin it. Yes, please. That would be great. So. We kind of stole that. So now, Unless you're, now you're on you foot, feel like basically. It would be useful to have a Black Order card for your purposes. That would have been true. That's true. To infiltrate. Or we could maybe unskin it later, too. Because hopefully the base I'll is still there. I'll enchant it with disguise. We'll have our enchanters enchant it to be able to make it look something else and Perfect. On oh, and off you. switch. Do you have a place for an altar here at the Majestic? Not the Majestic, no. But uh, there is a temple. I forgot what the hell it was called. Um, cathedral. I believe it's a cathedral. So, so basically what above table what is kind of like more thinking ahead further down the line but later on there are spells where you can go and teleport everyone back to a specific place that's designated and has some connection to your deity and isam's deity all it takes is like a little stick and a bowl of water and like like a certain arrangement to do something really small and discreet. And there's also like some spells to create permanent effects in certain places that are connected to a deity. So he was kind of looking, it doesn't have to be here, but he was kind of like, I was just kind of looking in advance for some place we could do that if we're having headquarters somewhere, I guess. Uh, like he he would place. just, it would he would just direct you to the Sacred Radiance Cathedral. And he tells you okay. that all known gods or have their own establishment there, like the little corner of the cathedral. It's number nine on the map. It's like the massive building on the coast. Got it, got it. Okay. It's pretty much next to yeah. City Hall and uh, repository. Did we, anyone need to get equipment besides shoes before we moved on to? Uh, I do need well, a couple more bolts, I've, but that's it. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, oh yeah. I forgot about that. So uh, eventually the door opens it back up. Uh, let's see how shit this guy look. Uh, blonde hair come over to the side, like the like very slick part, like more slicker than mine. Uh, clean shaving, proper. But of course, I heard you uh, need to uh, yeah need uh, need equipment. I'm um, your guy, right now. Come on down. Cool. That's awesome. Turn. He turns around and starts leading you down to like the armory area. Hi. As he walks down there, the floor opens up and this like um, display case props up, and he walks behind it. What can I do for you? What do y'all need? I have, I've been instructed to give you all standard fine equipment. Uh, I'd like to refill my quiver, just get it topped up again. That but of course, so gives you a bundle of uh, arrows. I need the same for my crossbow. I just need five. One, there's some bolts for you. Thank Slide you. Slide forward. We do have those uh, arrows. We do have silver tipped as well, and same for your bolts. Yeah, sure. I mean, if if yeah, I'm. Down. That would be yeah, just in case you never. Does you he never know what we're gonna have a silvered rapier by any chance? I can get it silvered for you. It'll take a day. I'll pass up my rapier. All and right. I'll take some of those silver. You can keep too. that rapier. I'll, t I'll grab a rapier and do it. You can keep your rapier. I'll give, get one for you. Do now. you, by any chance, have half plate armor? But of course, we have standard half plate armor. You're out of everything, aren't you, Nico? No, I have. I have. I have my armor. It just half plate is a little. I think y'all got a half plate. Oh no, it was dented. No, it was melted. Wrecked. Yeah, right. We wrecked. boiled a person in that. Yeah, you did. You did. Why can you this have is your the armor? thing that happened. Wait. Yeah, I mean, and I don't even mind trading in my my current armor for freshly polished. For well, you don't have to trade thing. anything, and it's like for just joining, you get. Any kind of standard armor, but just for flavor purposes, is very nice. Like, do you have do you have any any half plate with like some blue on it? Blue is kind of my color. High or low? Always high. Oh, that is not what I needed to roll. It doesn't matter. Ninety two. You lucky. I rolled I rolled two percentile die. Each was double numbers. One was a ninety. One was a sixty. I was like, oh, it doesn't matter. Oddly enough, I had that actually. Um, I don't know. All right, here you go. Thank you. Do you think how I'm, many? Think I, look good <laughs> I don't think you should wear Aramar, honestly. But I, I would look really cool. You would look cool. But maybe maybe pick a different color. You'd probably look better in a different color. He has regular half plate. The arrows come in twenties. Is that is that right? If we got silver 20s, arrows. Twenties, yes. Okay. No, no, no. The nope. regular bonus. I'm rolling to see how many silvered arrows he currently has. Oh, okay. So. Oh, better run, man. Okay. Yeah, sixteen. Current sixteen silver silvered arrows on hand. If you want some, you have to get some made. Along with the scimitar. Rapier. Rapier. I'm sorry, rapier. Sorry, rapier. You guys Simitar's can have made. all of all of those. I'll wait up until he's. Uh, I've, I've got plenty of other arrows. If you want, if you want the silvered ones for now. Oh yeah, because there there's also there was also bolts. Let me see how many bolts he had. Yeah, I need the bolts. So you two can split the arrows because I don't need arrows. I need bolts. You should take all of them, Nico. I think they're better in your hands than mine. I have other options. Okay. Sounds good. 
So 24 bolts. I don't silver, think I need... Silver bolts. I don't... Okay. I don't think I need that many. But I'll take half. I mean, you can have them all. They are free. Okay. Well, fine. I'll take them all. Yeah. All right. Keep coming on horn. All right. Is studded leather the best light armor, or is there like an elven something or another that is better than studded leather? Am I better than I leather? Mixing? The best leather, I think, the is light armor, leather. light yeah. light armor. I think studded leather is the best. And I mean, there is there's magical stuff, but don't I think there's like a mithril shirt or something. Yeah, there maybe. is, but. You got to use your medallions to get those. To get those. Oh, cool. cool. I right. so the best is studded leather. That's the best option for light armor, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll come up. A I'm gonna probably do far as rarity of items, like between like rare or was it rare. What is it? Rare. Oh, Jesus Christ. My mind is going uncommon, rare, all the way up to legendary. Uh, give you a price. I'll come up with how much each one will cost. Do that to y'all later. Right now, you don't have enough medallions, really. You might get a plus one weapon if you throw them all together. It'll be about it. Ah, yes, uh, and if, anything else? We only need anything else that y'all like. No. I already have a magic sword. <laughs> Thank you so if much. If you say so. Close. Uh, I guess, uh, for Kalis, guys, just... Ask him in chat yeah. what he want, or let him know what he wanted, what he will want. All right. Thank you guys. Uh, I'll be here if y'all need anything. Uh, if you get enough, uh, you know, medallions, come see me. I got some quite a few selection of uh, magical stuff. Um, yeah. Oh, and y'all need. Do y'all guys have actual walking around money? We're very no. poor. That would be a no. He pulls under the thing. Y'all seem like a good group. Y'all y'all look they're pretty good. I guess the walk around money. <laughs> he drops a bag of I don't know. Let's go. There's ten gold. Nine or hold on. Ten gold, ninety silver, uh, fourteen copper. Actually, that was a lot. Uh, one hundred and forty copper in the bag, and y'all can do via much as how you want. Are we splitting it, or are we gonna have someone hold all the money? Should we just split it equally? But split split it equally would probably be our best bet. So just in case if we're not near each other, we can still spend money and not rely on one person. Uh, so, so Foon, common's not really magical items. It's just common items. They're not really that magical. So, mm -hmm. but I think that means everybody gets two gold pieces except for two of us. I'll just take one gold piece. Uh, and then it was 140 silver. I think we each get 140 divided by seven, we each get 20 silver. And how much copper was it again? 140. 140 copper, we each get 20 copper. If there's seven of us, right? Am I counting right? One, two, yeah. three, four, five, six, seven. 
They came off all some of the people that tried to break in a while ago. I just, yeah. We obliterated took their money. Don't worry about it. Well, how much silver again? Sorry, I had a kid in my yeah, ear. 20. 20? Okay, thank you. Cool. 20 silver, 20 copper, and you guys each get two gold pieces, and I guess maybe me and Kayliss can take one gold piece. I'm volunteering Kayliss since he's not here. I was going to volunteer <laughs> JP because he's been collecting money and not giving it to people. <laughs> I'm just counting oh, JP out for now. He's too sick. Yeah. Yeah. I, I At this point, I don't know if he'll return, so... Yeah. But. Yeah. Also, this makes it so I have 20, 20, and 20 of everything, which looks really cool on my character sheet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, ready. Uh, good hunting. Uh, I'm keeping a tab. What, what was the name of, for you guys? I'm keeping a tally of what all you guys took. The oh, chain the breakers. chain breakers. The chain breakers. Got it. That's a nice name. I like that. Yep. It's a lot better than the weakest link. <laughs> Actually, a lot better than the chain smokers. Yeah, you got to you got to love your lungs. You've only got one set of those to live with, and yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure what they put in those pipes, but uh, those monks, man, they, they get really into those uh, those uh, dealings. Yeah, whatever. But ah, uh, good hunting. See y'all later. Uh, which way do we go? He back up the stairs. Yeah, but after that, we don't know the town. We don't know who we're seeing, where they live. You know all that. I think we're which, gonna go I got talk covered. to the guards. Yep, yeah, we're gonna go talk to the guards and yeah. then the Larkin family. Let the boss oh, 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 you need a map. Here you go. He drops there, you the there. map that you... There you go. You guys now have the map. Mm. Keep in my backpack. <laughs> Can we summon it by saying map repeatedly? No, map. it's just a map. Oh, okay. You say map, and then magically... <laughs> Arwen magically holds it up for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have to say it just like once? Or do we have way? to say it three times. Arm. Did you just okay? Can we focus on what we need to do, please? I'm ready to listen. You can certainly go use the meeting room or go to the tavern area, and whatever you want to do. We appreciate your help, Meryl. But of course, I'm, I'm here to serve. We will serve. Right, let's head up to the main room and then get to where we need to go. So we need to do this before we settle in and like do other stuff, right? Or is that it's better mission? if we get this mission completed first, then you guys can, we could split off. You guys can do your research. We each can do our research that we need to do. Some of us need to relax in, check on JP and Kayla, see how they're doing. But the sooner we get this mission done, the better. And Providence, if you have a moment, I was really impressed with how well you controlled your, your fires last time. I might be able to show you some of the things that my mentor showed me. Uh, you see that, like, she wants to resist. She wants to be like, I don't I don't need your help. But um Yeah, I think I think that might be a good idea. Th thank you. I, I think we we have other things to chat about too. Yeah, I suppose we do. All right. Let's go. All right, we all hit it I think our best bet will be to talk to the guards first that were that uh, hopefully Nico took down. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Uh, okay. Lieutenant Thorne was one of them, I believe. 
Yep. Lieutenant Thorn. So let's go, I guess, to where the guards are stationed and see uh, if we can talk to those three first, and then we'll go to the Larkins and see what else they can provide that the guards didn't see. So the guards uh, for y'all's essay uh, would be at the city hall. They would have their own little private area of the town hall for reporting. Kind of like the modern day police station, you know, type deal. You know. Um, uh -huh. So if y'all heading out, let me change. You no longer have the fireplace. As you're walking through, scale level, uh, the the cloud condition is more fair now. You still got a few clouds here. The sun's starting to poke back over the clouds as you're starting to walk through the streets. People are starting to come out uh, as it's cooled down to a few things and a little steam coming off the, uh, the stone uh, walkways as you start heading through town. If you are headed towards the, remember you guys are at the Majestic, which is uh, number one on the map. And um, you start heading towards Town Hall. I can put, I mean, y'all, y'all have the, I'm assuming the VTT open if you want to <laughs> look. Not this time, but. Here, I got it, it. Don't worry. No, no, no. You're good. You're good. You're good. I, I remember how when we did it earlier. So I'm good. I'll also upload it to our. Um, uh, it's a one. very, very pretty map. Mm -hmm. I must say. It's absolutely gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And for everybody else, I'll put the map up so y'all can see as well. Sorry, guys, I was clicking buttons and I rolled an animal handling investigation and performance. I don't know what that was supposed to do, but. Found a puppy outside. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I found a puppy and sang to it very badly and didn't notice that anyone else was paying attention. Yep, pretty much. I think I actually already gave it to you guys, but whatever. But there it is again. Okay. If y'all want to talk on the way there, you can. Sounds big. The city's big. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been here once. That place right there, they sell the best sweet rolls. They're really good in the morning. Um, that place, don't go there. Um, we got sick there. Oh, uh, or, no, maybe it was there. <laughs> How long ago was it since you've been here? Like a year. A year? Okay. Uh, you you got it right the first time. Don't go to that first place. Ah, okay. But the sweet rolls, right? Yeah, oh, the sweet rolls are, are to die for. Yeah. Oh, there's a really cute park over there. That said, if someone steals your sweet roll, don't go to the guards because they'll just tease you for the rest uh... of your life. Nico and Providence, as you're putting to the place that has the sweet rolls, mm -hmm. you see it boarded up closed. Aww. That's the closed sign over on it. Oh. Maybe it closed down during the plague. Maybe. Or too much theft. I don't know. Or it could be one of the missing families. They did say more than one set of families were missing. Hmm. Or they Can said people a... been missing. The Can most I do a quick... Go ahead. Investigate. No, just a quick perception or investigation, just in passing as we're passing by. I can can I give you the help? Can I give her the help action? Sure. I mean, I don't know just what you're trying to perceive, though. Well, you just said that it's like burned it up. I want to know if there's a reason why. Well, is there like a sign that says like failed help below. inspection, or <laughs> like do I see anything? I mean, you just you only need to perceive. If you go and go up and walk at the sign, it says closed to to missing owner. Hmm. Yeah, I think this is, um, I think they're missing a person. So Province just tears the sheet off. So what'd you get for your perception check? Oh, I didn't roll. Um, 
Perception. I'll give you something else to see if you roll high enough. I, if I'm giving you the help action, it's well, with advantage. And I can okay. give you guidance to uh, for can... 1d4. Sure, I'll take it. Oh, that's much better. Uh, 22 plus 1d4. Um, mm -hmm. Providence, as you're reading this. 25. Sign, mm. As you're reading this sign, it's like dark in there like it's like like it has not been open for a while and you see you swear you see a sh uh almost kind of like a ghostly figure with eyes and it just <laughs> oh God. and it vanishes you see that are you, are what you what are you, what you okay there was a thing in there like a i'll walk up and, and look in Perception check. Sorry? Your perception check. Perception. Mm, I'm good at these. Do you have dark vision? I do. Okay. I think I'm a regular dark. human. Uh, that is a 26 total. You do have dark vision? I do, yes. Yeah. Not because I'm a human. I have it from something else. But yes, I have dark uh, I was about to say. Oh, yeah, you had it from your subclass. Never mind. Yeah. You got a what? 26. 26. You do not see really... What you see is a very dusty establishment. Like, it has not been open for a while. Did it look like dust, what you saw? No, it was like this, like... Woo I'm going to cast uh, C Invisibility. And he's going to uh, just whisper something about Mother of Night, let your secrets be revealed. And his eyes turn black for a moment, and then he looks inside. Nothing really invisible catches your eye at this moment. And How long does that last? Uh, that lasts one minute. Or one hour. One uh, hour, okay. Uh, Providence is also going to send off her magic awareness. Essentially, wild magic barbarian uh, detect magic ability. Mm -hmm. All right, Providence, you sense it's basically detect magic, right? Basically, yeah. Yeah. Oh, also, just real quick, so you know, see invisibility lets you see into the ethereal plane too. Okay. I did not know that until just now when I read the spell description. All right. Uh, you last for an hour. Uh, I'll keep that in mind as you're walking or whatever you're doing. Uh, Providence, you get a s very, very distinct aura around this building of shadow magic. Hmm. Do you guys, do you guys know about like shadow magic? Like I'm, I'm kind of the entire building. No, never heard of that before. All of it. The whole building. Is there like a roll, roll we can make yeah. to see if we know about it? Yeah, or... I'd have to remember if I schooled that or not. Yeah, yeah I have education, roll. but make my own roll. I got uh, forty-five. <laughs> no, I mean, like, <laughs> what do you use in Arcana, or what do you, what, what use? What you feel what, like? What religion? History, I think. Fit, or what Arcana? An education for you, me. Yeah. Well, yeah, depending like, on what, depending on what you choose, would def define what you remember. Do do I? I'd like to make an original. <laughs> you got? What did you get? I got twelve on religion. Religion. <laughs> Glitch got a history uh, I got check a, of 18 a 10, 20 on religion from his book learnings. So Glitch, you got what? 18. On religion? Uh, Nico? History. I, I got 20 on religion. History. He got 18 thing. on history. Okay. Uh, on education? Yeah, for, uh, I went to no, school. No, no, no. I'm talking about Nico. Oh, you, Which one did you uh, roll? Re religion. Oh, religion. And you got a what? 20. I got a clean 20. Clean 20. 
right. I have expertise in stuff. Isam, Isam, you're you're racking your brain. As she says, shadow magic, you immediately start thinking of your deity, but then you realize it's not exactly based on shadow magic. And you're just sitting yeah. there kind of pondering that. Uh, Glitch and Nico, you both kind of... Oh, well, actually, Glitch, you did history. Yours, you do know that certain far as history goes like magic this type of magic it's tied to certain deities of different types of people different types of deities um nico you all you can think about is char with the the, the shadow magic all you char? can think about okay. uh actually in glitch you do know like shadow magic is tied to with your history tied to the shadow fell Providence and your stuff only lasts for six seconds, and so yeah. uh, after your six seconds are done, it's back to you, back to looking like how it was. What do I know about Char? Just like general knowledge of you got a clean twenty of uh, so you know the general knowledge of Char. Okay. Uh, she's okay. the goddess of darkness. Cool. Uh, shadows, darkness, char could be could be a yeah. char related thing. Well, shadow fell stuff. I remember vaguely remembering. Not too. Also dusty. There's very dusty in there. Okay, now what? <laughs> the building's shadowy. For some reason. Um, Actually, that could be. Do we know the shadow realm people take stuff? How does that work? Maybe we should knock. Yeah, okay, you think? You go right Providence. Ahead. Knock. With your yeah, foot. she takes. <laughs> but no, no. She'll take the end of her great sword and she'll start banging. The hilt on the door. Anybody in there? Internet just kick it open. <laughs> oh, oh, I got you. She, yeah, she kicks the door down. Uh, uh, before you kick the door down, you, you hear, uh, uh, may, may I help you? Oh. As you turn around, there's like a guard, full like a uh, gold, like a uh, silver plate armor, uh, spear, and a shield above name it's like uh, that is I a mighty is a mighty fine outfit you have on there sir uh, uh, uh appreciate it appreciate it I, 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 i'm a new recruit oh. oh uh do you know what happened to this place uh the owner disappeared like a bunch of other people around town yeah we're, we're trying to Just find perfect more about that yeah uh, but what you look like you're about to kick down the door. Please, I mean, that'd be considered trespassing and stuff. So I, I don't want to have to take you in. Oh, you, you couldn't. Don't worry. <laughs> I would take uh, your word for that, too. Just saying. There's something wrong with this place. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to have to ask you to move along. Do you think you could let us in? Then we wouldn't be trespassing. I don't have the keys to let you in. Oh, who well, does? we have a key. I brought a key. Uh, the family that has brought that, that, that up. Yeah, we, we brought our own key. It's like a master key to every door. What's the name of the family that boarded this place up? I, yes, it's uh, the, the Larkin family. Oh, we're actually going to be trying to find them, actually. I'm, uh, my name is, uh, Tomlin. Hi, Tomlin. You're the recruit that we were told. Yes, about. I just joined. I saw that side. Yeah. <laughs> I know, it's I know, so I know that honeymoon stage. New job. Yeah. Yes. Favorite flower. My dad said I would be a great god. 
I needed to get a crib. I needed to get out of that. I think they just wanted me out of the house. So, yeah. Mm. Staying in the bed center at the town hall. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. You get the I'm just... Isam's just... Oh, Isam's just studying him to try to determine how long this kid is going to live for before he gets himself killed. How long? <laughs> He's just kind of like... <laughs> you want to help save a family? There. Well, uh... So there's been a cult uprising. If y'all are serious about trying to find... Uh, it's called the Shadow... We, we deemed them the Shadow Cult. Uh... There's been a lot of like homeless and people in the streets just going vanishing, missing. Like the the missing That's... the missing department has been overflowed. You know. Uh, That's what yeah. we're here for. Did you see anything, Tomlin? <laughs> okay. Arwen's he leaned, he leaned, yeah. How old is he? <laughs> well. <laughs> That's what it's I'm like thinking. 17. It's like 16, 17. <laughs> okay. It's really exciting. I see dead people. You see dead people. Okay. Did you see any dead people that were important to this mission? Or finding them? I, I, I see faces in shadows of where the people has gone missing. Okay. Oh, you need to stay with us. Is that recent or... Uh, just the uh, different reporting missings and stuff that we have to. Okay. Is there anything else you can tell us that will help? Uh, uh, my lieutenant has been investigating in more great <clears throat> detail. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can you bring us to your lieutenant? I believe. But of course, but of course, follow me, follow me. He starts turning and starts jogging off. I jog after him. Uh, yeah, stay close. I'll trail Sorry, um, like that. alongside Glitch. And as we're walking, I'll ask Glitch, so uh, what did you do before you were captured for a living? I didn't do anything. I've never had a job, actually. Huh. Yeah, never had a job. Didn't need to. Can I inside that? Sure. Do you really never have a job? 25. Never had a job. You, ne you never had a job. That's nuts. <laughs> That's not really came up. Yeah, my okay. parents. He whispers in your ear. Parents are kind of loaded. So you're kind of like Arwenus. You guys came together, huh? Well, not on purpose. <laughs> Actually, I don't know. How... She snuck aboard a boat, like, pretending to be hiding. Actually, kind of lied to get on the boat too, but at least I was working on it. Actually, I did have a job then. I was a co-captain. I'm still not sure why I got that job, but. <clears throat> So you were co-captain, I this was a stowaway, but both of you were... And that just, lasted just, uh, an hour. <laughs> yeah. Filthy rich. <laughs> I'm not. But I never... I was really impressed by how knowledgeable you were. Can I procession check that, see if I can hear him talking? <laughs> yeah. All right. Ashley, what's your passive perception? Passive, I believe it's one. And then uh, we'll have a psalm and glitch roll stealth chats or sleight of hand chats. I mean, we're not whispering or anything. Passive is a 15. I kind of whispered at the end, though, all that other stuff. Yeah, passes the 15. It's it's nine. You definitely hear them talking because they act like they're whispering, but your long elf ears, you just hear everything they're talking about. He's like a right beside us. Glitch, you're not as quiet like, as you think. They're like, they're like satellite dishes. It's crazy. Am I 
next to you. You're not as quiet as you guys think talking about me right next to you. Asked about my working life. Yes, I heard that. There you go. That's it. When I was mm -hmm. on a boat. I worked yeah. on a boat. You were there. Remember? Mm -hmm. And then yeah. I found you. It's called first hiding. mate. Yes. Okay, first off, no, I passed you out. First mate. No, you were first mate. That's what it was called. He's not oh. the co-captain. Joan said you were first mate. Oh, that's not the name? Oh. That, I don't know the name. I, think... I lied. Yeah. Get on board. Oh, you're no better than me then. Yeah, but I didn't sneak aboard oh, and lie. Okay, first off, it's not my fault you guys departed early. We'll leave it at that. No, this is not the time to talk about this. We are trying to find this family and seeing why everyone's going missing. What else are we doing? We're walking. <laughs> we're trying to keep up with Tomlin, who's jogging up ahead with Nico, and we're falling a little bit behind. Don't get going. I'm going to shove you in the back of the shoulder to get you moving. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, really I'll thinks we're kicking out your feet from underneath you, but doesn't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Mm -hmm. uh, he eventually leads you up to a gold plated uh, uh, let's see they didn't give you any description of her so uh, long blonde hair piercing blue eyes uh, she looks down Tomlin, where have you been? Scouting, and I met these light, uh, light lovely uh, folk over here that was curious about uh, the, the little bakery there that's been shut down for quite some time. Oh, really? Uh, why, why are they here? Oh, they want to know about the disappearance. We're here to help the investigation. One second. Uh, Tomlin, how many times have we talked about uh, this? I know you're new here, but shouldn't uh, devolve ongoing investigations with strangers? Is that part of the job? I, 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 I get over this. I'm sorry. Uh, I stopped him from breaking in the entry, though. We we were actually oh, just going to use our master key to unlock the door. Do you have a master key? Yeah. Hmm. Tom, uh, go ahead and start patrolling the Orland Heights, please. And uh, stay out of trouble. Good work, Tomlin. <sighs> you, you got this. You're going to do great in this career. So, uh, um, you treat that boy nice. Oh, uh, he's got a lot to learn. So, uh, how may I be a service to you? Oh, sounds like a service to me. Are you Lieutenant Thorne? Yes. How do you know my name? I'm smart. Tomlin said it. But we were also No, told... Tomlin did not say it. Yeah, but she okay. doesn't know that. Tomlin did not say her name. He said, go get my lieutenant. That's yeah, but she, she doesn't said. know that. She doesn't know what Tomlin told us. That's true. That's true. Okay. <sighs> okay just uh, splurred my name around. I talked about that with him. All right, uh, again. We're here to help with the investigation of the missing people. We've already been slightly read in, but we would like to know more what else we could do to help to find why they're going missing and if we can get them back or when we can get them back. All right. There is a gentleman. We be do believe this leader of this cult. Okay. Um, he 
has a cat. You can never trust cat, cat people. Is it orange? <laughs> Yellow. Nice. Sorry about them. He has a cat and he claims that is a dragon, apparently. We've not seen this cat. We've not seen this person. Well, do, you, do you know his name? Everybody that we've come in contact with of his followers killed themselves before giving him up. How do they do that? Do Our last... Uh... Uh, seems to have some kind of poison capsule in their mouth. Or something at the nose. But the last, uh, last ones that we encountered was in the market district. Uh, are you with the group? Yes. Yeah. We're called the cha Chain Breakers. Uh, chain Breakers. I just received a message like not 10 minutes ago in my head that uh, you might be coming looking for me. Very well. Uh, the last... The Larkin family, probably your best bet to find out, get a little bit more information, exactly the whereabouts of where their daughter went missing. Uh, we get into their store. They have the key. All right. Thank you for your help, Lieutenant Thorne. We'll head to them next. Thank you. And Don't forget about the raise that recruit Tomlin needs soon. Nico. He's a good kid. Come on. I'm coming. You should actually be with somebody. By the way, guys, I didn't prepare any combat spells because last time we talked, I was going to do sending for. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were going to have a down day. So I have like sending and remove curse. I mean, it's technically a down day. You're just doing this investigation. Yeah. So it's still technically yeah. a down doing, day. Yeah. So I just looked over my spells and sending. You're doing for, sending for uh, somebody. Providence for Fane. Fane. And remove curse for Providence too. Right. Whenever you guys want to do that. And, and whenever you guys actually want me to identify those things. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we, yeah, we have like a that. list of things that we're going to do that is all backed up. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll do it at lunch. <laughs> I think we can get some sweet buns. Um, Thank you. I think we could get some sweet buns when we talk to the Larkins. They're we right should. Here. Yeah. Find their daughter that might, maybe, but right now let's try to see if we can solve this issue. All right, as you, or I guess you're heading towards the family now. Yep. We're not we're passing to, anywhere yeah. near the post office, are we? The post oh, office was near the west gate, if you remember. Yeah, I, I we went down we the way. We kind of passed it. Okay, perfect. Before earlier. No, y'all passed it coming in. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, I, or I just, you were passed we're, out. We're, and we're still yeah. going away from it. That, that's yeah. fine. But basically, you have to cross the main, like, little central island to get over to, down to where Dark District is. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, Assam, you, your stuff is still up for an hour? Yeah. Every once in a while, you get a glimpse of something that darts off into the bushes. 
Should I roll a perception check to try to follow what I'm seeing? Or? It's following uh, you. Okay, can I stop for a moment and try to, like, look We're following you. It's not you specifically, but following you, the group. Yeah. Can I get a better look at it? Like, can I roll a perception check or no? I mean, I'm already giving it to you for free, so, because you've seen invisibility. You see it. Yeah. And it's you like you see it, but you also don't see it because it's translucent image. So I can't really tell what it is at all, or even you know, guess. Mm, give me a perception check. We'll do that. All right, all right, all right. Can I guidance myself or no? Sure, I don't give a shit. You can guidance anything, right? <laughs> I can't trip so. All right. Point of clarification, I have guidance as well. Anybody ever? Okay, that is a 21. Uh, even though it's translucent, he also is, is kind of like a picture more like there's like a little outline of uh, something dashing, but it's still translucent. You still see through it. You can swear you probably see like wherever you're seeing has like hair, like long hair. Is it a cat? No, no, no. It's like a humanoid with long hair. Uh, yeah, but it's like crawling. Is it like, is this like? The... It, it's almost like, oh, what well, cartoon is that where like they die behind a tree in a bush? Is this thing kind of like, kinda like the girl on the ring? Oh, the no. The movie I... where like she crawls no. out of the television? No, no, no. It's just like. <laughs> yeah. Like the flat. Yeah, basically like the flash diving between stuff. Hmm. And that happens until your stuff fades. Yeah, uh, as it's happening, I will whisper to uh, Arwenis. Um, I'll say, I think we're being followed. Okay. Is it something I can see or not? I think that's invisible. I think it might be a she. She? Okay. So, humanoid. I think so. All right. Keep tabs Keeps on it for... behind things. Okay. Keep tabs I mean, on I it while we can. Try to approach it. Um, all right. You approach it one side, I'll approach it the other. You uh, I'll go give to the general... Last... Last thing it darted behind. Okay. And uh, no. I'll head go that around way towards it. Casually around it to the other side. Uh, Arnis, you cannot see this. And this I is know, I'm kind of guessing. This is coming towards the end of the Psalms. See invisibility at this point. Mm -hmm. um, as you get closer and closer. Basam, you see it. It looks at you. Again, it's translucent. You cannot see really any features. You just see like an outline of somebody. Okay. Dive through your body and out the other side. Does it knock on you? Okay. Like when <clears throat> Kitty Pride does that. I think <laughs> maybe it was in the Ethereum plane. Or maybe it was they a could. ghost. It just went right through me. Okay, it, that's a... Did it feel bad when it went through me or did it feel nice? I'm going to send you a direct message, uh, Assam, that you heard okay. in your head. You heard something in your head when it happened. Okay. Hmm. Strange. Very strange. I'll send it to you in Zoom. Ba -ba. Okay, got it. Uh, as it like passes out, he's gonna call out. Um, okay, where in the my notes did I put her name? Her name, the missing girl, is Myra, or is it like you don't know who's missing? You just sold the they family. Us, the, they told the us there was. A, yeah. There was a missing family member. Missing. Uh, missing a family but member. They told us 
three people's names and one was Lyra. Right? That's true. Uh, so he'll just call out Lyra. Lyra? Lyra. Right. But he just kind of looks confused for a moment. It says. You okay, Ansel? No, it's Myra. Gone. Myra. Myra. Yeah. But you get no response. I, I'm fine. I just, it, I, it surprised me. That's all. Okay. Oh. Got uh, everybody. Rest of the party. You see them kind of go off by themselves. Where the are they going? Do we follow? Did they not do that often? No. Well, I mean, I've only known them for like a week. Because I mean, yesterday when I joined, Isam was off doing his own thing. I only known him for like two days. So. Okay. I mean, we can follow them. We should follow. Which? Okay, let's Coming? follow. Well, how far did they go? They went around a house, I think. Okay. Yeah, if we see him disappear, it's like. I'll say this is over. probably by the second bridge crossing over from the island. Okay. Um, just north of seven. Yeah, if if I'm gonna try to just walk over to them. It's okay. Sorry, I, I saw something. I I think maybe it was one of the victims. I think they're trapped in the ethereal plane, possibly. How did how did you come to this conclusion? Mm, I asked for a blessing that allows me to see invisible things, but also into the ethereal plane. And there was this translucent figure that jumped through me. Uh, and as it did, it it said it needs help. So I think I think it might be one of our missing people. I think that's what I saw. All right, so if two of you are seeing this, one like a ghost that you said, ish, and yes. then you saw something through the ethereal, ethereal, sorry, plane. Possibly. So this is something pretty big. We definitely need to get the bottom of it. Because if we can help them. We can help them. <laughs> if she goes to the Lycans, I um, I don't think that cheese board filled me up. I would like to eat some of this rebels. Yeah, so let's head to the Lycans. Okay. As you, as you're continue following, or the road, the path, you get the sense. There are people are all starting to look at you weird because you never mostly you're not really seen a group like you. Um, Especially, most of us are perfectly normal human beings. Yes, but they're looking at Sam and Arnis specifically because the Sam's from a different part of the world. Hmm. And, uh, and Arnis is an uh, elf. Which the Elven Nation in the Lustran Empire are kind of at odds at the moment. Uh, Isam, I think we're being stared at. I'm used to it happens a lot. I'm not so much. Not like this. Do you want a distraction? No. Out of one cage and into another of sorts. Well, I don't need a third cage, but okay. It takes time. Uh, People are curious. Well, they I think it's also because of the issue with the elves and here. And my part of the world isn't well, well received here either. So I guess we're both oddballs out. I think so. Maybe they're looking at you because you're so beautiful. And handsome, I guess, kind of, for some people. Uh, thank you, Nico, for the uh, optimistic view. It's 
appreciate it. She side eyes you sound like a help me. <laughs> As, for some people. as you're heading towards uh, uh, the jewelry and artifact shop, it's about midday at this point. You're traveling, walking the streets of East Haven. Um, you know, once you get around the corner, you'd be about to, at your destination. Starlight uh, Jewelry and Artifacts is the name of the building to your left as you approach. So it's, it's this place? They own a bakery and a jewel shop? No, you're just passing it. You do know oh. that the location that you're going to is directly behind it on the next street. Mm, okay. I think, it's, I think it's just back behind there. As you approach, it's a beautiful, a beautiful estate. Um, clearly high nobles. Uh, well, you're, you're briefed that they're traders. And um, well, obviously they own the, bake, the bakery shop, so. Uh, it's very nice. I have the gated front port or front yard. I've I've never been to a place as fancy. How do we how do we get in? Just walk? Is that is that what we do? I have a question. Is it a gate with a fence, or is it one of those useless gates that doesn't have the fence around it? Like it's one of those little know? like waist high white picket fences, or like okay. yeah. Is there a bell? I think we can just walk over. I yeah. As you walk up to the door. The doorknob. I went in glitch window. No. Sorry, my bad. Didn't mean to interrupt. If you start approaching, the doorknob has like an eye and a mouth. As you start getting ready to knock on a door, oh, good afternoon. Well, company. We're in Wonderland. And the mouth, go, uh, the doorknob goes back to its like face, like. Have you have you guys seen the movie, uh, the one with David Bowie and he's the Goblin King? You know what I'm talking about? Oh, Labyrinth. Labyrinth. There's Labyrinth, yeah. a door, isn't there, where they like pull the like knocker out? Listen, of the I'm doing out. this off the cup. All right, I'm not using any of this. It's a, it's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> like, it's, the, it's a fantastic reference. Yeah. It's the best. Yeah. You got Eventually, a couple. Reason there, rich people stuff. You right. kind of get used to it. What this is common? Did, did you have a door like this glitch too? Oh, sure. It's just a door. No, it's talking. Yeah, the lady back home had had one, but she thought it was weird and loud, so we got rid of it. I can hear you talking about me right in front. Oh, yeah. That was I'm probably my cousin. I Wait. maybe, yeah, absolutely. Let's go with that. Yeah, glitch then looks again. Like, wait a minute. Welcome to the Lake Lincoln family residence. Ah, oh, shoot. Larkin, really? I mean, Larkin. Larkin, Larkin family residence. <laughs> Are we at the wrong place? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I'm We're looking for it? Abraham. Yeah. <laughs> no, Larkin. Larkin. When you oh, yeah. did you let them know that we're here, or are you just letting us know that there's guests? Where are the Why guests? Would they Nico. Let us know that we're guests. Could you please find the Larkins for us and tell them? Uh, that we're as as you're, as you're saying fun. that, as you're saying that, the door opens up and a middle aged human man. It's like he's got like baggy eyes and like clearly like he's distraught, right? So he opens uh may I help you? Actually, Hi, we're, we're here to help you. Hmm. Who are you? Oh hey, I'm Nico. 
We are the okay. chain breakers. We were sent with uh, by the guards to help with the investigation to find your missing family member. Who? who, who uh, which guard, specifically? The lieutenant. It was oh, more than one lieutenant. Lieutenant Thorne. The really pretty one. Yeah, bomb, blonde bombshell. Yeah, they sent you. Yes. Uh, come in. Yeah, I thought she was a shit. Okay. Lila, dear. Lila, dear, the, they have sent help. Please, please come in. Please come in. And he ushers <laughs> you into this lavish, like, top tier, best furniture you could buy in this type of world. Like, rich leathers, cushions. Couches and everything. Please, please, we'll, we'll get you a spot of tea, okay? Would you have sweet ones? Yeah. Sadly, uh, we were fresh out because our daughter made the ones you probably are accustomed to, and she's mm -hmm. not currently here, mm -hmm. as you do know. Uh, we we have tried to eliminate her recipe and the way she does it. We do have some, but they're just not as good. Gotcha. Secret ingredient stuff. Yes. I'll eat a, a sweet roll. She I feel said like the secret ingredient one. was love. Actually, <laughs> he starts walking off to the kitchen. Nico's <laughs> not laughing right now. <laughs> and um, they both come back in and have a seat and. Uh, as they like wiping their tears and stuff and so how can we help you do you remember anything specific about the day she disappeared she went in the morning like normal and then uh, we went to check on her, as we always do, bring her her lunch, fresh cut. Pop Rose, she loved it so much. Took it in, and uh, she was not there. Was she acting strange, or did you know something odd, anything at all? It could be something minuscule, or not. She seemed translucent. Who? Huh? We we swear we heard her voice, but then we like, went in the kitchen. Sweet rolls were on the floor, like she was cooking some. Okay. Just get ready for the lunch rush. Mm. Does she normally work by herself in the mornings? Of, of course. She's the only one that knows the recipe. Oh. She did have three other helpers that she would come in and kind of like work her like as an internship. They've went missing too. Do you know their names? Okay. Uh, Isabel and I think Marcus was the, what's the name, what was, her, what was the name to, I think so. <laughs> That's two helpers, what was the third one? You said three helpers. I thought I said a couple. You said three. Mm -hmm. I don't remember the last one's name. It was new. <laughs> How new? New guy. How new? Was it something recent? I think it was how that day. Ooh, okay. That's rotten luck. That's. Oh, wait! I remember his name. I remember his name. He called himself Fluffy. I scribble out new guy and write Fluffy. What? 
No, 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 no. He said that was, that was no. I mean, that was his pet's name. His name was pet's name was Fluffy. What? It started with a Z. Started with a Z. Okay. Fluffy Z. Was his pet a cat or a dragon by any chance? I just just remember him saying something about it being uh being being his he his pet was a cat. That's all I remember. Okay. Is there any way we can go see where she, look take a look in the bakery and see if we can find anything odd inside? Yeah. Sure. Hey, she hands you over the keys to the place. Thank you for your help. We will do the key, our absolute best. The key she hands you mm -hmm. is like the old timey keys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the hilt of it is uh, is shaped like a a muffin. Yeah, nothing Cute. wrong with that. Cute. Um, Sorry, I'm Baba hearing means, mama yeah, behind me. Baba means mm -hmm. have some. Uh, we made her favorite meal, which is some pot roast. So, uh, you going to like to have some on your way out, or before you leave? I would love some, thank you. All right, thank you. <laughs> Do you know the muffin key? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, is she... that like no one laughed at my muffin wrong with that joke? I laughed. <laughs> I thought you actually said nothing wrong with that. Okay. No, I, said, okay. I said nothing wrong with that. My apologies. So subtle. So uh, she serves, they serve you food and all that good stuff. Um, um, yeah. They let you have a moment to talk amongst yourselves. Okay. So you do remember hearing them say that about the guy with his pet, right? The cat. And the new guy has a pet named Fluffy. Showed up that day and then she disappeared. Yep. It's a pretty strange coincidence. Yeah. So maybe there's some like, magic or something left over or something behind that you guys can see because that's kind of out of my expertise on that front, but I can maybe talk to the animal plants. Hmm. But besides that, maybe they cats? have a house. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Maybe they have a house plant that saw everything. Well, they said everything happened at the bakery, so we have to go to the bakery to see. Maybe they have a bakery plant possibility i can see if i can find anything through that through my druidic powers but plants do have like a add to ambiance the story they tell so many secrets when they're just listening more than you like to know that's disturbing mm-hmm <laughs> Oh, Jared, we'll like, set the plants in his window and wonders. <laughs> <laughs> so, we'll go to the That's bakery. Good, but rocks have longer memories. Can you speak to rocks, Nico? No, I listen to rocks. Okay. All right. We'll finish our food. <laughs> we'll politely finish our food. <laughs> And see yeah. what we else we can find because we have to go to the actual scene to see what's going on. Uh, just before we leave, I'm gonna ask them. Uh, did did you haven't received any kind of letters or anything from people that you might not know or or anything that might be about uh, the disappearance? Have you? Just people also reporting. It's more the news and. Stuff that uh, other people's people's been going missing throughout the city. Yep. Something to do. 
the gods seem to think it has something to do with the the shadow coat, whatever mm. the that means. Gotcha. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you for your hospitality. Mm -hmm. We will do all our very home. best. Could I do an insight check on this guy to see if there's anything sus about him? Throw an insight check. Sixteen. He is just very distraught, and he just really wants his daughter back. Um, you probably get the feeling that he is now fearing the worst. Like he's almost kind of made peace. As we're getting a raid, what? a oh. shield warus with a raider of four. Welcome in, everybody. If you're just joining us, I am Jugan with Goblins of Warlots. Uh, they're currently investigating some missing people in East Haven. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys for coming in. How was your stream? Hope everything was great. All right. But yeah, that's what you get from me in sight there, uh, is all. Uh, as y'all leave and I head back. The as, as we leave, I'm just going to take out my flint and strike a few sparks and then go. Uh, Brew is actually going to just, you know, walk up to the to the gentleman and just be, you know, don't worry. Uh, we're going to find her. She, you, you remind me a lot of her. She just wasn't quite as big as you, but... Not many people are. But just just don't worry, okay? <laughs> just do what you can. Ten. Uh, Providence is actually going to cast a spell on him. She's going to cast Heroism. Uh, oh, what does that do? Uh, she, he gets two hit points, but he can't be frightened now. Um... Immune to being frightened and gain some, uh, some temp and two two temporary hit points. Huh. I, 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 you're right. You're right. Yes, you're right. You will bring her home. Yes, I I, I feel it. Did he see enough enough of the figure to be able to describe it? No, all you saw was kind of like a translation outline of like a female. So I could be like, was your daughter translucent and female? And he'd be like, yes, yes that's her. Yeah. <laughs> Did she have eyes? It must be her. That's yep. that's that's definite that's definitive right there. Okay. So I'm right. quietly follows the rest of you out. Thank you, Stargana, for subscribing. Thank you for your too much subscription. Too much streak. Uh, who would you like? Is that is that advantage? That's advantage, right? Yeah. Who would you like to give advantage to, uh, Stargana? Uh, put in chat who you'd like to give Stargana. Or Stargana. Please put in chat who you'd like to give advantage to. Thank you for your subscription. Welcome to the Juganites. Um, all right, uh, as y'all head out, where would you like to go? Back to the baker. I get the advantage. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. No. Oh. Uh, somebody already put it on there for me? If not, I, I can. can. All right, thank you. I got it. All right, thank you, Stargana. Thank you. All right, as you all start heading back, uh, you make it back. Unless there's anywhere else you want to stop, I'm, I'm get the feeling y'all determined to get to this bakery. And uh, as you get to the bakery, yeah. get across town. So, Stargana gets a tier one sub to Weebo. No. Uh, a gifted, uh, Stargana, a gifted sub is a greater push of healing pops out of the bag of holding. 
I just imagine Kalis is in the back contemplating whatever, and it just kind of pops out of the bag of holding. So you'll get another greater push of healing. It puts your count up to four. Oh, I'll, I'll add that too. Actually, yeah. I think but her count is at 42. Negative. Does Kalis <laughs> see it when it pops out? Since I don't think it's smart. within five feet of him. <laughs> nah. Yeah, got it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, get to sub. Gift to subs gives a greater push of healing. There's like an actual secret meta plot in this entire game where we try to figure out where this all comes from. Yeah. <laughs> Dragonless found out where it came from, but this these people haven't. These people. This this group this group hasn't. <laughs> yeah, we really. These have people. <laughs> yeah, being bad by twenty, we might be done by then. Hmm. But as you head back to the bakery. Uh, you reach the bakery. You use your key to get in. It opens right up. Smell, still smell like sweet buns? High or low? Always high. Yeah. Uh, you get to reminisce of, like, the ingredients for the sweet buns. You can still smell those. Hmm. You realize you guys are killing me and making me legit fucking starving this entire episode. <laughs> uh, as you like, walk I'm in, I'm gonna go buy cinnamon rolls at Seven Eleven right now. So um, right. Uh, imagine, <laughs> uh, imagine a nice little quaint medieval Starbucks type deal, right? Like a small, like little area, and a little counter where like your the bakeries and stuff would be lined up, and then you got the kitchen around back. And I'm then, thinking exactly like from Legends and Lattes. And then uh, the, there's windows, and each of the windows, <laughs> there is potted plants, like set out in front of the plant uh, windows and stuff like that. But it is super dusty because nobody's been here in a while, so. Erwinus, can you talk to those plants? Let me see if there's any plants in here. Yeah, um, you just said that about the plants. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm like on the windowsills. Okay. Yeah. Flower beds. I think potted flowers. plants have like sad lives. You'll find out. I just saw a thing about how like plants sometimes communicate through their roots. So, like, no, we're but not they pulling actually it out of the pot. Talk to each other too, like. Yeah. <laughs> I heard I I've heard rumors that potted plants are super grumpy because their their roots are all like stuck. They can never stretch. Well, so boom, the there. the plants are outside the window, so they get the rainwater mm-hmm. and stuff like that. So oh. we're fine. Maybe. Well, let's find out what they need. The plants on so the I... inside are pretty much very well dead. So mm. yeah, I can ask the ones on the outside. Uh, okay. So now, I'm guessing a nature check. Oh, 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 uh, is there, do you have an ability to speak with plants? I think uh, it's a spell, ain't it? Not. Yeah, I there's a spell so. called speak with plants. I think I have it. I hope I have it. I don't know if I have oh, it. Yeah, you should okay. have it. So it'll be pretty uh, so I'm talking yourself up about it. No, no. <laughs> <Shut> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> okay, she's going to bluff her way through it when she comes back in. Yeah. She's like, like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they were jerks. jerks. It turned to the left slightly, which clearly means yeah. someone was here at noon yesterday. <laughs> I don't freaking have it. You might Maybe have you just don't have it prepared. Mm-hmm. Oh, I never prepared my spells. Oops. You can prepare yeah, your spells. It's... You do it. You do it okay. during the yeah. You prepare your morning. Just I like... don't think I did that this yeah. morning. So that's fine. Okay. Go ahead and speak with plants is a okay. third level spell. Okay. Are there any like <sighs> bugs on the that plants either. that she could maybe speak to instead? I do have speak with animals too. Yeah. Let's find it out. actually like makes them become sentient. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty nifty. Okay. I have you it can now. Cause Thank you. Difficult terrain. All right. Okay. I'll go outside and talk to the plants if you guys want to investigate inside. 
Providence is literally just like yelling out, trying to talk to people. It's like, hello? That's fine. I'll just investigate. Does anybody time. need dark vision? Or does everybody have it? I have 60 feet. Um, I do have dark vision. So you imbue the plants within 30 feet of you. You communicate, follow simple commands. Yes. You can question plants even if they're past. Okay. Oh, even though they have past, so I can peek with the ones inside. Uh, creatures that have past weather or the cells within the spells area within the past day, gaining oh. information about creatures Ooh, no. of the past weather and other circumstances. But I mean, do okay. pants forget last week really? So, who, who are you trying to talk to, or, or which plant you're trying to talk to? Probably oh, you the one with the best view to the inside. I mean, so there's there's two windows in the front, and there's two mm -hmm. windows connected to the kitchen. Let's do the kitchen. But you can always recast it, right? How long does it last? Ten minutes? Oh, it lasts for ten minutes. Ten, ten minutes. minutes. So, yeah. Depending on how much you want to talk to each plant. Yeah, so I guess I could do the kitchen ones first, and then go to the front and see if they say, saw anything, like five minutes each. Okay. All right, what do you want to do? What do you want to ask? Or what do you want to say um, to the plant? Uh, all right. Uh, all right. Uh, can you hear me? And I can hear you. This is weird. You can hear me? Yes, I can. Can I ask you a couple of questions of what happened here? Of course, I, uh, I, I, I like to talk, but nobody ever talks about this. Is great! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate your enthusiasm. Do you know what happened to you? Did you join uh, the rain? The rain just came through. It's exhilarating. Yes, the rain was great. Um, do you know what happened to Mira? Did you see what happened? Oh, of course, I I know what happened. I saw. Can you tell me? I saw. Okay, can you tell me what you saw? Oh yes, ah, uh, guys in black clothes. It looked like I had like a, I don't know, like a black shadowy mask over the bottom of the face with the eyes. Some like red piercing eyes or something like that. And uh, uh, they went in and grabbed her. Okay. Did they grab anybody else? Two of the helpers. And then one of them like was issuing commands to the other ones. Ha! Huh. Interesting. Uh, okay. As they grabbed her, they took the body away, but something really weird happened before that happened. Can you explain? Yeah, the helper did like some like shadowy stuff and it's like she was distracted from her body and they took the body away. I don't know, it's, it's, it's really weird. Uh, can I do like an insight check to see if it's like kind of what happened to Fane, like her soul got taken out? Huh? Like, it, was it like her soul being taken out of her body? Is that what happened? Mm, not not as... No, no okay. remember, remember Fane and they swap bodies. Okay, they swap bodies. Yeah. Okay. He's more or less describing you like the person, the that third mm -hmm. helper. Yeah, it's it's shadowy. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I appreciate your help. I hope oh, you grow course. tall and beautiful. Well, I'm just a plant. I need to get out of this plant pot to get tall and beautiful. You can still grow big. Take me with you? Because nobody ever talks to me. 
how about this? I'll come back and visit again. Oh, of course. I'll tell all my friends. Absolutely. I'm going to go talk to your friends in the front quickly. And I appreciate your help. But of course. Are we going to have a new pet plant? Because that would be awesome. <laughs> no. oh, I want one. Yo, there, there's a higher level spell where you can actually like turn yeah, awakened. Like, into like a white walking thingamajig like at level, I don't know. I think it's five. Yeah, let's start taking it around like in a little trolley. We better make it bigger so I can keep it. I hate to quote the previous attempt, but it is not my job to babysit your bush. <laughs> right. It's a shame Rar Tender's not here because he was the one who said that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to channel what I did for Hambone's voice, and I can't remember yeah. if I did it or not. <laughs> it was pretty close. It was, was almost spot on. That was yeah. so long ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like I think he's he sp he speak more slower. That's for sure. Yeah, and 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 a bit more broken. Yeah. I will go talk to the plants out in front before I run out of time. Okay. Uh, basically the same questions kind of thing. See if they saw anything different from their point of view. Well, certainly like going through the motions, they just kind of yeah. explained to you that the all they saw was the body getting taken out. They didn't see what the okay. ones in the back saw. All right. Well, once again, I'll thank them and. Uh, okay. And they'll, uh, they'll I'm also gonna go say, Take us with you. Like I told your buddy, I'll come visit again. Bear. Okay. Ah. Thank you for your help again. <sighs> All right. I'm going to go inside now. <sighs> What is everybody else doing while she's talking to the plants? Watching her. Oh, <laughs> looking around. I've uh, never seen anybody talk to a plant Whoa. before. I don't think you. I don't think that's how the spell works. You kind of see, like it's more like a mental thought, right? Is that how it works? Like, actually, no. I think you hear a one-sided conversation, right? Yep. You hear her side, but you don't hear the plant side. That's fine. Yes, that's exactly how it's it's. Okay, so you're watching her having a one-sided conversation with plants. Mm -hmm. Nico, is this as creepy to you as it is to me? Ah, oh, there's something kind of peaceful and like kind about it. It's just a little bit wholesome. I don't think I'm ever gonna want to do anything in front of a plant again. This is just really distressing. <laughs> but seriously, though, rocks have longer <laughs> memories. Be careful around rocks. Yeah, they're harder to avoid. They are. Uh, they're also harder in general. That that's an interesting, yeah, coincidence, uh, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Providence is inside, and she's holding her sword up in the air, and it's like blowing because she's making it blow, and she's just yelling out things like, "Myra, head towards the light." Come towards the light. Uh, Providence, give me a wisdom it. saving throw. Oh no, she is yeah. coming towards the light. <laughs> She's good at these. Yeah, no, I'm not. Now with that, she's getting be. possessed. The seven. Oh the seven. shit. <laughs> Providence, I won't give you some dialogue. You know what? It's probably good that. Providence is bad at wisdom saves because this is how she gets all the lore. Seriously. By so the much way, lore. Uh, while Providence is doing that, Isam's going to give guidance and uh, advantage on initiative to glitch. So you got both those things. I am here. You hear Prov. Yeah, you hear Providence talking, but it's not her voice. So you can ask Providence questions, and she can respond okay. by me messaging Providence. Oh, am I walking in, or is this happening when I'm not here? I think you're still outside. Yeah, you're still okay. outside talking so about everyone else. So, okay, it's all you guys. 
you guys because I specifically said I was watching. <laughs> oh and yeah. Is it just me, or, or did she just suddenly stop waving her sword around? Glitch. Actually, I, I suspect that she probably dropped her sword, which is probably not something you would ever have seen her do. Yeah, yeah. that would be more of a stop and look. Providence, are you okay? Does she do this often, Glitch? She is here. Uh, 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 yeah, I, 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 okay. Who are you? Are you looking for me? Yeah. He's always looking at Glitch for a moment. Have you come to save me? Are you the one that we saw earlier following us around? Yes. What happened to you? Do you know where you are? Oh, I misspelled that. I'm, I'm stuck. I'm stuck in between the, the shadow realm. And, and... Hmm. How did you get there? He has he has my body. In this, in this body. Who does? You're you're cutting out. Yeah, I think you're kind of covering up the mic. Zephoon. That's a very wicked sounding name. Mm. You know where we would find him? In the chat room. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> at his estate I'm not sure where though usually people who are recent hires to a bakery don't have their own estate it's crazy He has our, our bodies in the basement. If we get your bodies, is there a way to get you back into it? Do you know? He's preparing a ritual. Must stop him. I I have I have to go now. You have control of your body again. Go on. That was unpleasant. Providence, you you saw and heard everything. You just had no control over your body. Oh, why do things keep on taking over my body? Oh. oh. Don't know. Verona, oh yeah, I forgot Verona, sir. You, you did call to Tara to come. You invited her. I just wanted her to come find us. And she did. Time to move. She successful. Why am I talking that to you? Was very successful. 
<laughs> About this time, Arnis comes back. All right, I saw, I found out some stuff. That's okay. We know where she is. We did everything. It's time to go. I'm gonna. Pick what up the hell did Martin I miss? <laughs> we, no, no, no. we, we have to go find this guy's estate. His name is Zafoon. Why did I bother go talk to the freaking plants if you guys already know everything already? But it was it was really wholesome and it was a good moment. You should cherish that moment. Could have been here. Province got possessed. We know Excuse everything. me. We talked to plants. Yeah, it happened again, but a different time. Uh, okay. It wasn't near as creepy as you talking to plants. I promise. Yeah. Okay, plants see and know a lot. More than you would like to know. So That's treat what's them nice. About it. Yeah. yeah, treat them nice. They'll keep your secrets. You know who else knows a lot of stuff? The hmm. victims. Okay. So, okay. I was going to tell you that they use the shadow magic to hold the, her soul kind of out of her body. But since you guys basically know everything already. That's... We didn't know that part. Oh. Whoever it was, he has an estate. Okay. The moon has an estate, and the bodies are in the basement. You found his name. It's an estate. Yeah. Zavoon says you should have asked for the secret recipe while you could. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't. Um. What is the secret ingredient? No, don't leave. <laughs> <laughs> well, now we have to get her back. Yeah, just in case. Okay. We're not very good. Can you get possessed again so that we can ask? Let's not do that. Of... I agree. It was not pleasant. Let's okay. Let's not do that. Let's not, not do that. <laughs> Problems. Let's learn our lessons. Don't open yourself up unless you're ready for someone to take over. I cannot. Yeah. You're yeah, right. yeah, yeah, thank you. Because this one seems to be okay, but the last time I'm guessing from what I remember. I didn't ask for that one. <laughs> yeah, how many Let's... ladies have possessed you lately? Two. Okay. That's still too, too many. I agree. Yeah. So, okay. So, you do you know exactly where his estate is, or? She didn't know. Fudge. Do the plants but... know? I'm out of time to talk to them. Ask. We chat with uh, somebody, Lieutenant Thor, Lieutenant. Mm. Okay. Well, we just you... ask him random citizen instead. Oh, that in case mm. the lieutenant isn't up and up on everything. We're nice. I think that's a that's a good call. You can ask directions. With animals too, if there's any animals in nearby that saw stuff too. Yeah, but would they know who Zafoon is? True. Unless they live this in their this area their whole life, then that's a good point. I mean, we just gotta find no. a place that's big enough to have an estate and a basement. Okay, but we just like were an, at a state. Mm -hmm. An animal must have seen bodies getting dragged into a basement somewhere at some point. Maybe. That's... You gotta find the right animal. That's the issue, too. So, okay, we'll just ask a person for now, and then if need to, we'll go ask Lieutenant Thorn if they know a yeah. Zafoon who owns an estate without and accusing if not, him. We could ask some rats who might know where the dead bodies are, because rats eat dead bodies too, right? Yeah, but if we can ask rat here, we got to be 20 miles away to another place. Those rats are going to know about it. That's true. Do we know just they're dead bodies? We don't know if they're dead bodies. They just... It's all when it Oh, or, this is hard. Was it? Was it dead bodies? Okay. You know what? Oh. This is ugh. glitch. That's the glitch. Does a nineteen hit you? <laughs> well, that's not very nice. Yeah. <laughs> you that's take that's... all of the damage. Maybe. That'd be cool. And a bit. Seven point. Actually. What what did I give y'all immune to? Necrotic. Necrotic. You take nothing. 
He's like, let me undo that real quick. <laughs> you got <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, so let's you, but... let's uh let's revamp the bone. Uh, does anybody have resistance to poison of any kind? No. No. Uh, no. All right, we'll give you resistance to poison. Okay. okay. That, so that makes a lot more that. sense, actually. Right. In addition to... <laughs> no, 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 no. Because no. <laughs> I realized what I just did, and I was like, yeah. nah, it's just going to make crap. Uh, you yeah. take seven points of necrotic damage. And your strength is reduced by four. Oh, I don't have any. <laughs> <laughs> he literally collapses to the ground. I already got a minus one to strength. That's your strength is reduced to four. Two four. No, no, reduced by four. I'm sorry. Okay. By four. Um, I'm trying to see what, what happened. Override. As you, as you guys are having this conversation, you see like the shadow blade sticking out of the chest of Glitch and this shadow behind as you see three more. Wait, how many is y'all? One, two, three, four, five, six. You see three, no, four more pop out behind it, all you guys. Oh, As they peer out of the walls, getting ready to come in for strikes. That's where we'll pick up next time. Well, I'm glad I have oh my gosh. and sending prepared for today, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wow, okay. I don't think I'm ever going to prepare other spells than what I've currently got, so... I don't think Vivian really there. knows how. <laughs> Great investigating, guys. Y'all did some stuff uh, I was not prepared for. I didn't have in mind that you might do. So, uh, yeah, uh, we'll we'll make uh, the boon resistant to poison instead of necrotic. Okay. So That, that uh, makes a lot more sense. Yeah. It does, yeah. All right. All righty. With that being said... Thank you guys for hanging out tonight. Uh, thank you for the raid, um, Shielded Wars. Thank you for the sub and gift the sub to Stargana. Um, we'll be back next week if everything goes as planned because I'm a little bit more prepared uh, than I was last week. Uh, we'll be back at 6 p.m. Uh, because I do work. So uh, 6 p.m., guys, next week. And uh, we'll hopefully have Kayla's back for this fight. And uh, you guys will be on the, on the trail for Zavoon. If y'all haven't figured out, Zavoon was the one that redeemed the side quest bit bad. So I did a lot of work today mm. prepping this. So <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys for hanging out. Uh, if, if you're watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. If you want to catch us live, make sure you tune in at the links for our Twitch channel. And uh, come uh, come see us live and do some redeems for some rewards. Give these guys some magic items and stuff. So love you very much. You guys have a wonderful night. One last time for JR and Silver for your shout outs. And as I look for somebody to the raid. All right, you gonna go first, Silver? No, you go ahead first. It's always you first, so go for it. <laughs> uh, I am JR the Nerd. Uh, come check me out. We stream on Tuesdays and sometimes on Saturdays and sometimes in the middle of the night when I have too much coffee. Uh, Baldur's Gate 3, Skyrim, Dungeons and Dragons, interviews with authors. I got all kinds of stuff going on. Uh, but, so come over and check me out whenever you can, please, and thank you. And I'm Silver underscore Wolf underscore A. I stream a variety of games, mostly first person shooters on Friday nights between five and seven. I'm occasionally gonna do some more, but right now this week's gonna be a little bit more hectic. So it's gonna be back to once a week. Next week, I'll be back to about two to three. Um, but besides that, you'll see me here on Goblets or Goblets and Warlock uh, every Sunday. So you guys have a wonderful night. I've enjoyed this so much.
Thank you guys. We're gonna be raiding into Radnor Lock. He is painting miniatures, so make sure you go show some love to him. I play with him tomorrow night on Cleansing Range channel for uh, Nightmare Before Oz. So, guys, you have a wonderful night. We love you very much. Good night. Hi. Shadows we emerge, church, protecting the realm with a search. Our mission, our duty, our pledge to keep the balance to save the earth. We are the guardians of the land, unseen, unheard. We make our stand in the taverns, in the alleys, in the night. We fight for justice. We fight for what's right. Raise your sword and raise the shield.